guys will now have uh, 30 seconds to start, or before you should start. It doesn't mean stare at each other. It means like actually have like a Talk conversation Talking things, with each other. doing things. I just converse with yeah. my stein. He's just drinking. Oh. Okay, I'm, so I can start now? I'll go to the, the hairdresser uh, before next yeah, week. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, yes. why, can I why are you start drinking now? This I don't understand too. what just happened. Because she says he carries. <laughs> yeah, but can I you start? She did it. Okay. <laughs> or you did it. No. All right, guys, settle. Um. Hi. Welcome to Fury's Reach, a Maze Arcana and Dungeons and Dragons production. Today is Tuesday, and every week for the next 12 weeks ish, uh, Rudy and I will have Tuesdays and Wednesdays here on twitch.tv slash dnd! <laughs> um, I'm Satin Phoenix, and I will be your dungeon master for Tuesdays. Rudy will be dungeon mastering Wednesdays. And whew, I'm so excited. So we actually started this game uh, at Stream of Annihilation. It was a little bit of an introduction to the characters, uh, for you, to the characters. So why don't we go around the room and say who you are and who you're playing and describe a little bit about your characters. We'll start with Misty and go around. Okay, uh, I'm Misty and I'm playing Amina Jacalor and I am blonde, a little different, uh, short, which is still the same. Uh, and I'm the first mate and I pretty much am secretly in love with my captain. Hi, I'm Kyle Vogt and I'm playing Captain Dorigues. I'm the captain of the Sea Sphinx, a uh, fairly charming and somewhat rapscallion character. Um, I have my first mate, my bosun, and my sorceress, who is someone I'm training. You'll meet them in a few seconds. Um, we're getting ready to run off into adventure in Chult. Welcome to come along. My name is Kurt Caceres. I play Vartak. And I am secretly in love with all women. And my harmonica and my book of poetry, because I adventure and I travel across land and sea to write more story. And that is my lifelong journey, to write stories and poetry. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> my name is Kate Elliott, and I'm stepping in for Kim Jackson. And I will be playing her character, Kalithe, who is a noble storm sorceress. Uh, she's done some serious damage before. I'm hoping that continues. Um, all I want to do is captain a ship and marry the woman I love. But uh, first, I wanted to understudy with this lovely captain. But then he got us into some trouble. Now I'm not such a big fan, and I just want to go home. So let's see if we can get that done. Thank you. Um, now we know them a little bit about them. For those of you who didn't watch a stream of Annihilation, you can go back and watch it in the recorded videos. I'm just going to read a little bit about um, the scenario of how our characters got to be here. And it's what I wrote for a stream of Annihilation. OK, so the Tuesday show follows three characters, the captain, first mate, and Boston, And a lieutenant, uh, they're both three from Am, and a lieutenant the captain is mentoring from Halrua. They have been framed a few months ago by a noble from Am and now sail the seas as pirates. Because of his value as a respected and loyal captain who's never lost a shipment, the captain's employer has devised a way to clear their names. They are to gather three items, two of which aid in finding the most important, a gem rumored to be called the Pulse of Cholt. So uh, they were they were going into the, oh, they're in the ocean, they're going to Cholt, and all of a sudden a pirate ship uh, tried to board them and take one of the items. Kyle, which item did they try to take? Uh, they tried to take the spyglass. So they tried to take uh, one of the items, and there was a big fight, and you guys ended up with the item still. And we did. I think two of the three player pirates, uh, they didn't make it. So uh, they ran off, but not before a giant turtle, a dragon turtle, <laughs> I keep calling it a turtle dragon, uh, <laughs> came up and started causing a ruckus. So the, the other pirates, they're on their way out, but you guys are facing this big, giant dragon turtle thing that comes out of the water. You guys are sopping wet. You've got your items, but now you're facing this monstrosity of a creature from the ocean and he's <clears throat> the mist is spraying all over the place and he go, ducks down and he starts swirling around and around and around your ship 
and the ship starts spinning. Everybody, uh, everybody roll a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> What'd you get? 19. Oh, one. We get oh. to add. Oh. oh, yes, please add. <laughs> okay. It's not that much better. Yeah. <laughs> Four, right? Yeah. Four. Okay. Uh, I got uh, 23. Of course you did. Awesome. Roll it again. <laughs> okay. Because you noticed that your first mate is going. Sliding. <laughs> uh, another saber, grabber. Uh, just roll it. Okay, I got a natural 18, but... Okay, that's good. Okay. So you see her flying off and you quickly grab her, you kind of grab her by the hair. She's like, oh! Um, there's my dice. Causing her four points of damage oh! to the head. Kind of pull out some of her blonde hair. But she's not gonna fly off the thing. Okay. Kurt? I got a 21. Awesome, the two of you just uh, hold your ground, grab a rope or a barrel next to you. And um, the turtle dragon comes back up, and he looks hungry for something. He has this look in his eyes, and all of a sudden he starts speaking in his tongue. He's like, Argh. and as he's saying, the, his like, saliva is actually coming out. I mean, you can't tell if it's sea mist or actual saliva. It's just a lot of wet happening. So do any of you speak draconic? That's <laughs> no, me. It's no. Me. Do not. Is Sorcerer? No, I do not. Okay, so I have he no starts idea what he's saying, saying but it's disgusting. Things. And he's waiting. He looks at all of you. And there, you guys, there's other crew members. I think there's like 14 other crew members. And he's looking around at them, and they're all like, and they all look at the captain. I'll step up, raise my hand, and say, Great Ormog, we do not understand you. What do you wish to say? He bumps in, he bumps your ship. your ship a bit. Everybody roll again. Oh, God. Captain, who is Ormog? Uh, 17. Missed it. <laughs> she got the same thing. Yep. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I even used different dice this time. <laughs> I'll try not to grab the hair this time. I'll see if I can get her by like her arm or um, okay. <laughs> something that doesn't cause the pain. Um, with uh, 12. Okay, you just barely grab her. You grab her shirt and she's like, ah. Um, the dragon looks at you again. We do not understand you, oh great sage of the sea. Um, do you speak common, perhaps? The trade language. Now you remember, uh, roll history check. Let's see what you remember. History. I uh, got a 10. You remember that he wants something. Mm -hmm. You know um, that he, the first time you went to Chold, you never, you didn't run into him, but you heard rumors that he wants a thing. Okay. Um. Oh, great dragon, Armag the, the powerful. Your scales are as steel and your breath is the force of a hurricane. We know that you guard this area of the sea. We understand we must pay a small toll. Thus, I have prepared for you a gift, hopefully to your liking. And I'll gesture over to the chest and point to one of the, the crew members and gesture it towards me. It's the one that you've, you've told him. Oh, I just point towards the chest that's near okay. him. And so he goes over and he grabs it and he's pushing it over okay. towards you. I grab the chest and I flip it open. I bring to you delights, wonderful items, shiny gems and gold, shells polished to a sheen. These precious items are for you to let us pass. Roll a persuasion. Aha, I'm good at that. <laughs> uh, for a 26. He looks at you. His face suddenly 
his long neck seems to keep coming out of the water as his face just goes towards you. And his, like you can feel the heat of his breath on you. And he's inspecting the thing. And he's like, not enough. And he, he like does this big like wave thing with his neck and pushes the ship with his body. And then he goes back under and swirls a bit. Uh, everybody. Make another one? Yeah. <laughs> Roll again. So it needs more. Uh, got a natural 20. Nice. Uh, I'm going to have to grab her again. <laughs> no. Wait, did you roll a one? No, no I didn't have two this time. Oh Here, goodness. try this. <laughs> I tried the metal and the plastic okay, this one. Is, this is Misty's um, Not very what, good. second nice. time playing, so I'm going to go ahead and just... Kill her? Her first time catching. That, <laughs> one, not, yeah. that one does not count as disadvantage die. Oh, okay. Where oh, yeah. am I? <laughs> so, oh, uh, house rule is if you if your dice drops on the ground, then you get disadvantage. Mine just dropped on the ground, so I get disadvantage on the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. don't go ahead and roll again throws. because Ormar okay. gets disadvantage. The great Ormar gets disadvantage. A five. <laughs> So you went and tried to grab her again? Yeah, I got a 15 on the second. Okay. On the, on the third grab. You grab her. Sure. Gonna she off. starts sliding and grab her. Pull her back in. It's all that heavy armor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what'd you guys get? Dirty 20. Nice. Dirty. 15. Okay, so you guys are just, you got your arms wrapped. So now that you've felt this happen a lot, same with you, you guys have your arms wrapped around something stable. You can't think straight enough to actually grab on anything, so. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, so he comes back up and looks at you guys. More. More. Fine. And I'll reach into my belt pouch and pull out some gems. Did you know he had all of that in his pocket? No, but. I don't get paid enough. And I'll drop uh, 150 gold of gems into the chest. Hmm, let's see if he likes it. He looks at you and shakes his head. More! Don't insult me! And he goes back down and he swims around. How many gold pieces do you have in your pocket, by the way? Uh, or, I probably, um, gems. Uh, I probably carry about 250. Okay. Um, is he knock the ship or is he going to come back up? He goes down, <laughs> swirls around. This time this, the ship spins instead of getting knocked. Okay. So it Whoa. spins around. Everybody roll. You guys, you three get advantage. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, did, it, did it work? I, I love my yeah, deck. Better. She got, she's getting better <laughs> slowly. <laughs> What'd you get? A seven. Plus, okay. uh, plus three. Uh, I got a dirty. Sorry. I got a dirty twenty. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, would you like to? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should come hang out with, with us. Um, I got we, uh, we a nineteen. Good hold. Awesome. Yeah. And you guys, did you pass? Uh, with yeah. flying colors. <laughs> I am used to spinning in many storms. I love my dexterity. It's beautiful. Um, he comes back up, but instead of instead of coming up and staying there and looking at you, he ducks his head down and just pushes the boat sideways as you guys are holding on, you're holding on to Amina and just like, ah, oh, uh, disorienting you. You don't know which way is north, south, everything's a little crazy. Um, and he like, and he breathes and he's like, oh, oh, bigger, more, we big jewels, big treasure. We, we understand, Orabag. Unfortunately, we are poor. We have not yet gone to Chult to get our riches. I can give you what little we have, and I hope that it is enough to appease your great need. If you will allow me, I will give you what little I have left. Captain. And I'll drop another 50 in. <laughs> you persuasion check? A secret stash. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I got a 16 on the persuasion. He looks at you, and he looks at your boat. 
And your boat's actually really nice because you're a renowned captain. And it's been beat up a little bit. But yeah. <laughs> it's nicer than other people's. It definitely doesn't get the um, the full service cleaning that uh, it usually does when you're not a pirate. Mm -hmm. But um, he looks and he goes. <gasps> I'll close the chest. Big mouth. I'll lift it up to his mouth. Yeah, his mouth is like over here. Okay. Let me take it. I'll make it fly and fly it into his mouth. Um, that might be a little dangerous. It's all right. I'm very good. Okay. How would you like to try to do that? Um, I'm going to use the spell fly. Um, mm. Question. It says willing creatures gain fly. Does that mean I can't use it on objects? Yes. You can use it on you. And so then hold then. it and fly. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Fantastic. I will just fly up myself. <laughs> that sounded worse than I intended. <laughs> <laughs> do I need to roll to see if I do well? So how big is this chest that you have? Mm, it's about like this. Okay, so it's carryable. Yeah. And very strong. Are you? I think so. Okay. Don't test it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you fly. I think fly is automatic. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, great. So you grab the chest, you fly up there, and you spring it over, and it stinks. It smells <clears> rough. Fish I'm going to create a gust of wind going this direction <laughs> so I don't have to deal with that smell. You get closer and you see just this massive teeth. They're like bigger than you. And there's just gunk and there's like little barnacles stuck to his teeth. And, like, and it's just, you go in and it's hefty. Even your gust is just not, nah. it's gross. Hot, humid on top of the normal humid. You get in there and you... Do you go in and drop it? No, I do not. <laughs> I'm not going into his mouth. I'm going to fly in front of his mouth and just gently fling it gently into his mouth so it will not hurt him or anger him. But I am not near enough for a bite. Okay. Then just a strength check to kind of throw it mm. forward. Dex. You got Remember how I told you not to check on my strength? <laughs> <laughs> not actually strong. Okay, so you, what did you roll? With the, I'm, okay, because it's funny because I can kind of read your rolls on your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're like, Ugh. and it drops and it hits its lip and goes to the ground and mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. him pull back, come up, <clears throat> and dive down towards it. So uh, I'm assuming that you're just going to... Zip sideways? Zip. <laughs> so you go back, and it comes careening down, and it, you see the, the treasure chest disappear into the water, and you see the head and his whole body. All of you guys see this. It's just like this almost never-ending body that just keeps going down into the water until the tail comes up. And you see the water around Cholt is gorgeous and it's clear. And so you see him, if, you, if any of you are looking over, you can definitely see. Uh, you just see his beautiful long body disappear. The treasure chest is gone. You see sharks just swimming around him seem to be like entourage to, to the dragon turtle. Mm -hmm. And they go swimming away. And you guys are in the middle of the ocean. The wind has calmed down. Unfortunately, that also means it is muggy, and you are now in a quiet place with your crew. Minus I'm just one going to land, there. just so that we know I'm back on the ship. I've landed. All right, we've gotten this far. Let's let's get on to the port. That's it. Bartek, can you get the crew up into the rigging? Of get the sails up. If we hoist the sails. I'll make us move. Let me finish this uh, this this uh, sketch sketch of Ormar. It's beautiful. I have it here. Well, I love your art. Could we uh, take but a look? look? It's amazing. <laughs> I would love to see the finished product, but I will present to you later. Okay. Let's let's get out of here and not anger him more. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, when you're ready, you'll, I'm going to go check on some of the crew members that may have gotten injured in the fight. <laughs> okay. Um, let's. So. You check on your crewmates, a couple people are bumped up. Um, the, the little kid that you had on the ship that you don't have anymore, you feel like morale is low. Everybody's, you know, the, everybody's pretty much on the straight and narrow. They've been with you this, this 
span of time, and this is kind of the last couple of months have been hard. This is just, a, it's a huge loss to your crew. Just one crew member going away is a huge loss. Mm -hmm. uh, but you guys end up navigating yourself around um, Captain. Roll yes. a D4. Uh, what? D4. D4? Got a two. Uh, it takes you all night to kind of figure out and get your, you get your bearings, but you kind of are hard, hard, having a hard time navigating yourself around the waters. Um, everybody's tired. Some people are messing up. Uh, it's the really emotional about what's happening. You were pointed towards Port Nyanzaru, but now you're, kind of going the wrong way, and then the winds are not cooperating with you. They're really, things are a bit difficult, but you eventually, in the night, find your way to Port Nainzar. And you go in, and it's this beautiful city at night. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It's big and sprawling, and as you come into the port, there are these two beautiful, large ziggurats that kind of stick up and out. As you, the there are these um, just lights tickling uh, your vision across. There's what looks like a grand stadium being lit like immensely. It, it looks like there's people still walking about. I would say it's about, it's about nine o'clock at night. <laughs> and you guys pull in and it's a little bit different than you guys remember. You guys have been to Port Nainzaru, was it like four years ago, I think I said? A while back. Yeah. You two have not been to Port Nainzaru. No, but I have heard many stories, and I'm very looking forward to seeing what is over there on land. Look at the lights, they the energy. Beautiful. I can hardly wait to see what lays ahead of us. Good. Can we go? <laughs> We, we have to find out where we need to go first. We need to find a guide, remember. Can I explore? Uh, the city? The, yes, please. Um, we'll have time to explore. But see. first, let's get docked. Let's check in with the harbor master, take care of our crew, and then we'll go see if we can find something. Don't you have some sweet meats you need to deliver somewhere? I do. I have a present to give. Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. Oh. oh. Who are you giving those to? The dock master, and I forget yeah. his name. Oh, it is to them. Okay. That's uh, Zindar. Yes. So. He can also tell us where the pub is. Okay. I know where the pub is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure, <laughs> I'm sure you could find it with not, not much trouble. Follow me. <laughs> so you guys I mean, pull in. Boop. Bing. You find a nice little spot. To I dock. like the noise our ship makes when it docks. <laughs> yeah. Ding. You pull in. It's nighttime. Uh, there's people that greet you, and... Amina, can you go talk to them? Uh, how many people are over there? Um, there's people all about. Some people are, like, organizing people that are coming in, some people are leaving. Just, what would you like to do? Uh, I feel a little out of it, so I can't really tell who is someone I should talk to versus someone just hanging out on the dock. So I feel like I just get out and... Say hey to the first person. Okay, uh, roll me a perception check. <laughs> uh, perception? Is she just terrible like I am? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Someone, Rudy needed to bless her dice. Where's the play? <laughs> oh, right there. Perception. perception. Oh, was it? Eight. <laughs> there are people bustling and bustling around, and you've never been to a place like this. Um, their outfits are elaborate, and even though you guys come from a very, uh, a very different society than, say, what you're from, which is in Baldur's Gate, it's still foreign. Uh, the smells are different, and people are riding dinosaurs on docks, and you're just like, what is happening? Um, so you walk up to somebody and you say, just a random person? Just, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure who I should speak to or not. I've maybe got a little concussion from my hair getting ripped out. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if there's a hair shop somewhere. But i got to help the captain first. What am I looking for off the dock again? You're looking for the harbor master. Do you yell that back at him <laughs> as you leave? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. The harbor master. 
Okay, so the first person I, I ask, I just say, hey, who's in charge? So you see a guy, he's carrying a bunch of baskets, and he like, looks like he's loading up something. So he might, he may be this guy, I'll know who's what and where. And he's carrying, he goes, huh? Oh, uh, the guy over there with the clipboard. Go talk to him. And then he walks off. Okay. Uh, I walk over to the guy with the clipboard, and I ask him, is it fine for us to dock? Although I guess it has to be now that we already are. Are we tied in yet? No. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> he looks at you and goes, what? Well, I'm sorry. What is it that you want? I don't have time. I see all these people and all these things are bustling, and I, I have to get back to it. So what can I do for you? Where, were me where, where may we dock? Sorry. I'm a little tired from You are sailing. already docked. What, can already we, what else can I do for you? Are you looking for something? Uh, if we're looking for a guide. Ah, well, if you go to the harbor master's office, there's a, a chart on the wall that has a list of guides. If that's, if that's it, then I will go back to what I'm doing, and I hope you enjoy your evening. While she's out there talking to him, I'm going to take uh, Khalifi to the side and start instructing her. So uh, as you can see, this is what you need to do in order to make sure that your uh, crew's got the checking in. We need to find some things first. And just give her some general instructions on how to uh, dock with an unknown port. Because I have to teach her things. With lots of paperwork, that's the worst part. Oh. There's a lot of paperwork. Sorry, you see people coming work. and going, the usual people handle all that stuff. You, you are just out of it. What, <laughs> where do you go? Uh, I'm going to turn back around and just try to find my captain because he makes me feel better about everything. Before she leaves, <laughs> I walk up, I put my arm around her, and I talk to the man with the clipboard. And I ask, sir, where can I find the most hustle and bustle in town, the most exquisite, most diverse area where I can find art and music and pleasure? Are you a gambling man? I could gamble with my heart. Hmm. So maybe a tavern would be better for you. That sounds like a place. Are you looking for some trouble, or are you looking to no, get a No, no trouble, glass? no trouble. I'm, I've come now for trouble. I've come to see your fine city. Oh, well, if you have money to spend, then Kala's House of Repose is where you want to go. House of Repose, then. Kala's House, yes. All right. Tell them Movan sent you. Movan. Movan, thank Mo you. Movan. Thank you, Movan. And here is uh, something for your information. I will never you. say no to what it would you give me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never yeah. say no to whatever this is. A, a, a silver, a piece of a piece of silver. Oh, thank thank you. I mean, I'll never say no to a piece of silver. Hmm. And he looks at you like this. And then he turns, <laughs> around. <laughs> turns around and goes back to doing what he's doing. And he walks off a little bit briskly. Like, yeah. mm, I'm going here now. <laughs> okay. So, now you're down one silver piece. Are you guys still on the dock? Yeah, Kurt Star. Yeah, so you guys, um, the boat's settled in, the paperwork's been done. And Thank goodness. Uh, now, Kurt's character has uh, knowledge of of a of, of an inn of a tavern, and Misty is continuing to be lost, uh, but looking for her captain. Kate, what are you doing? We're having a discussion. Um, mm -hmm. Now that we're here, yes, we need to get a guide to find us the location of the next object we need to procure. Correct? Mm, to help us through the jungle, yes. Okay. Do we know which direction we want to go? Is that something we need to figure out still? We know uh, heading. In general. But we yes. don't know a destination. Well, it's nighttime. It's, we should not be going out into the jungle at nighttime. I think we should make camp here in the city for now, see what information we can find, and head out at first light. I agree. All right. First, should we get something to eat? I would love something to eat and something to drink. Let's let's gather the other two and go let's somewhere. Do that. I'll turn to the crew and say, "Remain on the boat. Keep an eye to make sure no one boards and steals anything. We shall be back shortly, perhaps tomorrow." Aye aye, Captain. 
Um, is the Harbor Master's office open this late, or is it open during the day? You'll have to ask. Um, how many gold pieces are you taking with you now since you are down 200 gold pieces? Um, I'm just keeping the 50. So you have 50 left? Yeah. All right. Um, OK, then we'll walk towards the end of the dock, looking around. Uh, where did the guy at the clipboard go? Uh, he, well, roll perception. Maybe you can mm. find him. Also, you guys know where the harbor master is. Oh, okay. Is. You've been here before. Yeah. You know the while. harbor master. You okay. know where he. Uh, then, yeah, I'll go over looking for Zindar's office. Okay. Are you guys all going? I don't follow No, him. I mean, come with oh. I, I. The house of Gavan. You heard what I'll he go said. with him. I'm hungry. I think I found the guy with the clipboard. I think you <laughs> need to see him. Amina. Come, let's yeah. go. Okay, I'll follow you guys. I'm really in need of a snack or a drink. Bartok, it's just a quick bit of business <laughs> and we'll go. Okay, let's go. But let's make haste. Yeah. I've been waiting to see this fine city for many, many years. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, head over towards Zinder's office. Uh, check and see if it's open. All right, um, it is open. Okay. There is a closed sign on it, oh. um, but it is open. Okay. Would uh, you like to try knocking perhaps? I'll knock a little bit as I open the door and stick my head in and go, Zindar, Zindar? Huh? 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 What? And you look over and what looks like the receptionist, uh, she's got these really thick glasses and her hair is just like, like a mess. She's, she's got her, like, she's almost hiding under paperwork and books and you see her just like scribbling. She's like, what? Huh? What? Who? What? What can I do? Why are you here? I have so much to do. What can I do for you? I'm looking for Zindar. Is he in? What time is it? It's uh, nine bells. Oh, uh, no. He's probably drinking. He's probably drinking. Okay. Yeah, so he should come back tomorrow. Would you know where he's drinking? Um, he drinks at... Uh, one moment, please. Does he still frequent the Silver Tavern? And she goes... She like, picks up paper. She's like, no. Throws it over here. Picks up paper. And she's like... Um, he the Screaming is, Eels, maybe? Uh, Kala's House of Repose. Oh, he's at Kala's. Yes. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he likes a, a nice, a fine mead. That's all. Is, yes, okay. Then go, go. Thank you. <laughs> now shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we should have gone. That's where I was headed already. <laughs> what yeah. did they say? Now it's time. We can go now because you said so. Yes. Yeah, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll head off. Uh, heading over to the Kala's House of Repose. To the Market Ward. Awesome. Let me find my map. See where you guys are going through. Make sure I don't uh, bump into any large dinosaurs that are being used as beasts of burden. Well, <laughs> because you said that. <laughs> uh, what are you guys just walking through together? Are you like how? What do you guys? I'll point out things like, did you see that over there? Look, look, Vartok, look. So it's like the group of you are going together. I think um, we're walking pretty casually. There's so much to see. There's so much to see. Yes. There's so and much to view. There's so where much. Where is my map to show you guys the things? The, arch the architecture. It's, the it, there's so many people who come, people come here to trade. You can see all the different ty styles of architecture, the buildings. I love it. You see those buildings over there that look yes. like blocky things? Those are from some of the original blocky. structures. They're sort of square stone, I have almost temple-like. many stories of that architecture. That's, is, you know that there was a civilization here many, many years ago that fell. One of the only cities I heard that had What that. did they trip on? Um, their own hubris. Ooh. <laughs> Such as your hubris. So Hub you hubris. actually, um, you are, you are going to Kalo's House of Repose. Yes. You don't remember what that is. Oh, okay. Then we'll wander through and go. So you're just I wandering? I could have sworn it was over here. Hmm. I look around, is there anyone who looks like they're uh, drinking or some sort of merchant It's type? almost like walking through Universal City Walk <laughs> <laughs> at so night on a Saturday. I'm just looking like, is there a shop open? Oof. Anybody selling something? Tons of shops. Okay, it's a, I'm gonna... Like, there's lots of things. There's indoor, outdoor. If you guys are wandering, um, let's see, who wants to do it? 
Me. Uh, okay. Then roll a d4. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Four uno. Okay. Then you're going through. Well, that's boring. You're going through <laughs> the uh, warehouse district. Okay. It's not bustling. That's but not. beyond it, you see, like, it's more bustling. The warehouse district is pretty much closed down. It's a little creepy. It's a little quiet. You hear the buzzing and bustling of people, but you don't really see a lot of people moving around. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm still leaning on him. Well, and I'm like, there it is. No, it's just a mouse. <laughs> we'll head towards the, the, the noise, uh, the direction of the lights. Listen, listen. Yeah, be probably best not to attract attention while we're out here. It, the echo. You, did you hear the echo? I, I did. Are you trying to call the mothers over to us? Oh, yes, <laughs> he, I, he probably is, to be honest. I love it. Okay. Uh, you make it. You make it to the edge. Everybody roll a perception check. Sixteen. Twenty-three. Twenty-three? Why do you have extra perception? Because he's really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Wait. Oh, yes, wonderful. I have eighteen. I got a twelve. I'm so proud of you. The here. best Thank roll you. so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Vartak, you're like, you notice that there's a small group of shadowy figures following you. <gasps> stop, 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 stop. Now you guys are... Why? Stop. Someone's following us. Okay. Someone's following us. Did we need to stop for you to say that? No, 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 no. Well, do you I'm, stop? I stop. He stops. What do you guys do? We stop. Which direction are they? Behind and above. Yeah. There are, there are some figures following us. You're like a, like um, 75 feet away from where the bustling is of the marketplace. It's definitely dark in here and uh, in this area, but it's much lighter. What's around? Are there objects what? around us that are around us right now? Yeah. There's some Bar boxes talk. and big like warehouse buildings with big take, openings. Take the roof. Head towards, head towards the market or the, the energy that way. I'll be back. Let me go see. Ladies, I think I hear revelry ahead. Let's go. Wonderful. I turn around and behind us, the direction he's sort of going, there's, you said there's boxes and stuff around. I'd like to cast light on one of the boxes to illuminate it. It will illuminate uh, up to 20 feet radius so that if anyone decides to, f so that if anyone decides to follow us, we will see them. They will have to walk into the light. So you say this out loud to them or do you whisper it? Or I don't. Oh, that's a good point. I'm just walking behind them now. Be one second. And then I turn around. I don't say anything. I just light the box up. Okay. You light that box, and the, and all of a sudden there are twelve different men and varying heights. There's definitely a bigger one, and they all like are so surprised at what just happened. They all close their eyes and grab their faces. Gah! And now you can clearly see there are thugs behind you. There's a lot more of them than there are of us. How about we run towards that revelry? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's Bartek, go. <laughs> what are you doing? I, I'm, I'm heading in the shadows, as I was instructed from the captain to the roof to get a better vantage point. And as I am reaching the top, I see this explosion. You don't make it to the top, but okay. you, the light comes on. Now you see that there are 12. You are pretty close to them. I would say you were like 15 feet away from them since you were moving back towards them. Were you moving back towards them or were you moving to the side? I was moving to a bit of a um, point of high. So, of uh, high. It's okay. It's top of the building, at the, the, the rooftop. We'll say they're like 30, 30 feet away. Okay. Um, but there are boxes, but you're not hiding. They, they are clearly in front of you and there's 12 of them. Okay. I, I would like to uh, distract them with uh, some, some, some some sounds to, to, to bring the attention from my friends and bring the attention towards me with a, 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 a bee whistle. Would that be okay? <whistles> Gentlemen, you should come over here and see what is up here. There's beautiful women. 
You should come to the rooftop. The party and the air is flowing. Meet me over here. Oh, what is that? What? And let's see. Uh, eight of them just shake off. Their eyes are like trying to focus into the darkness again. And now they're all looking at you, Vatek. Hello. Um, you guys are uh, further away. So you're out of the 30 feet that he is in 30 feet, within 30 feet. Okay. Yeah. So ah, they look at you and they're just like, ah, and they grab at their, at their weapons. And they start. Bartok? As, as I gesture to can these. I, can I hear you or is it just hand signals? No, as I gesture towards these two. Go. Bartok, keep up. I will, I will meet you. No, keep up. They start walking towards you. And okay. start moving. And, and I run. Okay. But am I, am I at the rooftops yet? No, uh, you, you just, you were on the ground. You oh, didn't actually okay. make it. Okay. Yeah. So I run. <laughs> I dash. So you're going I run. back to your He's running towards Bye bye. <laughs> the two of them, the other uh, four are just like, ah, oh, rubble, rubble. And rubble, I, rubble. I'm shot as I'm approaching them. Run, run, run. Go, go, go. Uh, they don't chase. They don't chase you. Okay, good. Uh, you guys feed into the hustle and bustle oh, great. of. Let's see where you guys are now. They don't okay. chase us. Mm. They they are not. You guys are in the light. And they are in the dark. Great. Okay, so now you guys have moved to. Da 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 da. -da you are in the red bazaar. Yay! We're in the bazaar. And the red bazaar is pretty cool because it is full of like meats and food and a lot of like common items that you would need. Okay. So um, wandering through, I'll make sure to point out any like any of the cat people to the bar talk. There's a lot. Um, what you guys notice is uh, the Chultons are very dark skinned and they um, very oh my God. They these cool like sashes and robes and they wear sandals and their clothing is just billowy and it looks um, it looks like it would be too warm for where they are, but they are wearing beautiful sashes and layers of layers of clothing. Okay. Yeah. Um, Did you say cat people? Mm -hmm. cat people? You see tabaxi. They're called tabaxi. Yeah. They look like were people, but they are cat people. Um, as we're moving through, I look for. Uh, a lovely lady who might not be engaged in conversation to approach. Oh, who are you looking for? What kind of lady are you looking for? Oh, just random. Not, not one who's working. Just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just. Uh, describe more about who, who you would uh, be trying to eyeball out. I'm trying to eyeball someone who is not working at a shop or working the street, who might just be looking at the crowd so that I wouldn't be intruding on a conversation. Uh, so that I could walk up to her and ask her for directions to Kala's House of Repose. Okay. So. Okay. Is that music? Yeah. Yeah, music. <laughs> you, your eyes stop. <laughs> and there is a fiery redhead that you see. I will walk towards the redhead. <laughs> and you think that she's not engaged with anybody. Okay. Uh, she just happens to be standing there, and for you, it's almost like the light behind her just like glistens like around her head, creating a halo, and she is gorgeous. I will definitely talk to her. It's uh, almost like a path clears in front of you as you walk towards her. Okay. Uh, human, elf? Uh, human. Okay. Yeah, I walk up. Uh, Dark skin, redhead. Okay. Uh, mm. I walk up and say, Excuse me, beautiful lady. Could I bother you for a small bit of favor? She's, <laughs> what you guys see, she's actually talking to a very large man. And <laughs> uh, she's been engaged. And as he's walking towards this girl, he's like bumping into people. He's like pushing people out of the way. He's like what fixated. What is the captain doing? <laughs> he's fixated. 
But um, yeah, that's that's what you guys see. And all of a sudden, her, the guy with her is like, he like steps in front and looks at you, and he's like, "You want a favor from my woman?" I. He's a very large Cholton man, like just bones and a really ornate outfit. Um, merely a moment of conversation. Well, she's, you could talk to me. Your woman? This is my woman. All right, then I look around him and smile at her. He goes, don't look at her, don't look at her, and he starts, you can feel he's starting to puff up. You guys Can I see? run over? Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run over and I'm going to throw my arm around you and go, darling, there you are. I saw you talking to this lovely couple. You're trying to make friends again or you're trying to find out where that bar is that we wanted to go. Yes. Oh, uh, let's find out where that bar is. I'm so sorry about this. Deception check, please. Ooh, deception. I was trying to use my charisma. Is that's, that okay? That's deception. Yeah. Same thing? Okay. Mm -hmm. Shit. <laughs> Seven. You're with this guy? Oh, come on. You are way too pretty for this guy. Oh, aren't you, you such a charm? you see her, uh, his girl, like, push him a little bit. And she's like, hey, what are you talking about? And she pushes him, and he, he like, falls forward a little bit. And he, they're like, like this. Like, he's super tall, big, <clears throat> long dreads. And she's this little tiny thing. And they just start screaming at each other. Stop telling me what to do out here. You can't be hitting on other girls while I'm doing this. And they just are. Captain. Yes? This is not the person you should be asking for directions. Let's ask somebody else, perhaps a merchant. Are you certain? <laughs> and they're just getting louder and louder. And you um, see the people around, as I see and the, they're the, just like... Yeah, as I see the attention starting to get drawn, I say, perhaps later. <laughs> <laughs> and move on to look for someone else not quite so engaged. <laughs> uh, you are in the like fruits area of the okay. Red Bazaar. I'll walk up to a stand. Is uh, anyone working it, I'm assuming? Uh, there's an old man, okay. and he has a little hat on his head. And oh. He's got a funny mustache, and he looks like a very kind old Good man. Mustache. Evening, good sir. Yes. Uh, could I bother you for directions to somewhere? If you buy a fruit, I give you... What kind of fruit do you have? Well, I have... I have and he starts pulling out, like weird shaped things and the, the words that are coming out of his mouth you've never actually heard them before is like this one it's like it looks almost like a melon mm -hmm. and a strawberry m mashed up in one and he hands that to you and he goes i like uh, this two one. silver it's oh. very rare very good it two silver this late two, yes it's this how about from deep in chults you should you should how it's about very rare one silver i'll take it and be on my way as soon as you give me my favor. I'll, well, I'll make way. Okay. Okay. So he um, gives it. I, I take it, I give him the silver, and I go, Bartok, how about? <laughs> Thank you. Do you happen to know where Kala's house reposes? I could do oh, oh, your hands. One silver. Oh, pocket, okay. And he looks at you <laughs> like. And I go, well, for the other, the other silver, perhaps the directions. Boink. Like faster than a little <laughs> <laughs> So yes, yes, it's just up and to the left here in the Red Bazaar, actually. Ah, I thank you for your directions, kind sir. Perhaps we will be back for breakfast. Oh, I have breakfast fruits. They're very good. We will come back oh. in the morning. Thank you. <laughs> have a good evening. Have a good evening. He goes. So. So how was the fruit? He crushed it in his hand as soon as you gave it to him. I don't know what's wrong with this man. So you grab it, and I saw you just like grabbed it, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Your fingers go into it a bit. It, you were not used to this. It's like a, it's like a, it seems to be a like a strawberry on about this, like the outside of it, like this. But then it, there's like something inside, like your fingers stop. Can I eat this? No, I assume so. The, 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 the juice is so. It's you said you were hungry. Oh, Have at. This juice is so strong. Hit my palate like a flame. Is it spicy? You should, you should I don't know. Some. I don't like the face you pulled when it, you ate it. Well, it was delicious. I'll take the it whole was? thing. You can't have any more. What? It's about would this you, big. Would you like some? I would I like out, to try some. I pull out a, a dirk. Let's go. <laughs> Stick a piece. Oh, it there. Thank you. Could you do that Cut for a piece. Me? Be, thank and you. One. Cut a piece. Taste it. It tastes like a strawberry peach. 
No. Mm, That's it's delicious. Good. It's mm. very, very good. What do you call this? Uh, I call that a fruit. Is it fruit? Uh, he said some name that I, I can't remember or pronounce. Uh, so you, the what you took the chunk out of was mm -hmm. the like an outer layer. There is another layer on the inside. So the rind was that strawberry peach look. It's almost like the rind is starting mm. at this next layer, almost like an orange okay. where you mm. feel like you could dig into it more. Can you? Is there a juice inside this rind? You so you guys are just standing there. <laughs> As we're walking towards, okay. we're walking down the street. Walking up and to the left. Yeah, up and to the left. Um, you, you have Everybody a knife. Everybody roll a perception check. <laughs> mm -hmm. 17. 26. Nice. These 13. are perceptions. 13. Yay! OK, cool. So uh, you are walking over to the House of Repose, and then? You're looking, are you digging in the fruit? No, I'm just holding it now. I, just, I don't know what to do with it. You have a knife, cut it open. It's, yeah. So Can it's, it's gooey that? on the outside at this mm -hmm. point. It's, I just, I squeeze it and juice just keep going. It's pretty it's much coming. what's happening. Okay, ready? I'm going to pull out my dagger and just... So it actually is like a grapefruit on the inside. What is that? But it's a little bit darker, almost like a blood orange, mm -hmm. but it's big. And the texture is a little, not so, not that like, you know when the grapefruit has like those little like potty mm. things? Yeah. Um, this is more like, have you guys ever had durian? Yeah. Well, I haven't had yeah, it, but I've seen, seen it. it. Okay, nasty, it's like, nasty it's like a, <laughs> it smells like so there's like, yeah. it's like this casing but then there's like pudding inside. Yeah. Ooh. And it smells, it smells like, it? at first it smells sweet, but then it smells like cat piss. And then it smells yeah. sweet again. And you're like, did that, did I actually smell that smell? So it kind of goes back and forth, but the flavor in your mouth is still of that peach. original strawberry, strawberry mm -hmm. peach. Well. I dare you to eat it. No, I, it's I, there. I, I'm, I'm, I lost my appetite. Would you like it? Open up. Thank you. <laughs> no uh, face. No. I'll captain. try it because if the captain bought it, we shouldn't waste his money, and it's still delicious. I think. If you want to try it, you may. It's such a suck. -up. Thank you. Okay, so you taste it. Um, roll a d twenty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's poison. Okay, I guess seven. The inside is poison. It tastes like a urinal cake, or oh. I guess at this point that would be, it just tastes like a bathroom. Mm -hmm. Like, ah. Uh. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I ate it all so fast. Wow. <laughs> okay, everybody, uh, roll me a constitution saving throw. Except for Misty, do it twice. <laughs> oh no. Natural 20. Ooh. 30, 20. So 23 total. 15. We have to have them together. Misty? Ah. What did you get? Yeah. Uh, 28. Oh. And we plug them together? No, no. no. Roll, oh. roll the first one and then add your... Uh, right there, right? Plus. Oh, plus that? Yeah. So what did you roll? Uh, I rolled... Uh, well, do we add the proficiency bonus? Only if you're proficient. A 10, uh, a How do you know if you're proficient? 12 and a 10. Mm, she's a fighter. Okay, so good. Is. Awesome. So you guys are going along. You have this wonderful flavor in your mouth, and it actually lingers longer, longer than normal fruits that you remember. Like, it's very aromatic. Mm -hmm. Same with you, Misty. Very filling <laughs> in your face, very aromatic. You guys don't smell it on her, though. She is, just seems to be, like, up in here. Uh, you walk through. The market is bustling. Uh, there are children running around, uh, people are drunk, there's families, it's just all kinds of nightlife here. Uh, you walk around, you finally come up to this building and it is, uh, it has this beautiful archway and there's vines crawling up the side of it, there's paintings on the side of the wall of people and, and like having a really good time and there's stairs and there's a beautiful wooden door with iron bars. Is there a sign? There is a, uh, a little sign. Okay. I'll look and see if I can read it. 
You can read it, and it says Kala's House of Repose. I believe we are here. It's on a like a, a beautiful plaque. It's very, very nice. The whole thing is beautiful. Like the sconces right around the door give this beautiful warm light. You guys, uh, you may you have been to places like this in Haurua. Uh, it's very nice. You're you have a noble background, so you definitely have Vartek. You've never been to a place this nice. This is the nicest place you've ever been to. Is that artwork is Charmon? <laughs> I, have you heard of Charmon? No. <laughs> that is Charmon. I have never oh. seen one in person. Charmon is, is a. Is Charmon the painter? See, we. See we. See we. Only amateur art collectors collecting. Let's let's go in. <laughs> Misty, uh, he has taken you to places like this before. Mm -hmm. I've been here. Let's go. He takes me. <laughs> you walk in, and there's a man who and uh, who welcomes you. He has a, he's at a little kiosk, and he's smiling and warm and greets you and escorts you to a nice table. All the tables are nice. Everything, every single table is positioned well so that you can have your own area in it and not be overwhelmed by all the other people drinking. Uh, and it, it doesn't seem to be too loud in all the little nooks. The way the ceilings are, they kind of cradle the conversation towards you. Um, before he leaves, I go, excuse me, would you happen to know if Zindar is here? Oh, Zindar, oh, he's always here at, uh, at Eight Bells Sharp. He's in his nook right over there, and he points to what seems to be a strategic place that is in the corner. Okay. Um, I'm going to go speak to Zindar, if anyone wishes to come with me. If not, order your food, I'll be right back. Excuse me, sir? Yes. I was told to say, to tell you, are you the concierge? I am the host here. The host. I was told to tell you that Movan sent me. Oh. For Mo a special favor. Movan. Yes. We are friends of Movan. You got a secret code from someone? Was that person yes. a friend? <laughs> <laughs> so he, he was... Oh, yes, I will be right back. Um, he disappears off into the, the building. So you guys are now, you have your own table. You can see there's different groups. Everybody's well-dressed. If anything, you guys are a little dingy. Um, Salt-encrusted sea spray wearing. Nobody said that they were going to clean up before they left, so. Nope. <laughs> Yes. It's what you have here. So you just gave that man a cold, but did you get that cold from a friend or from a stranger? <laughs> a man on the docks. Just oh, that's trustworthy. That's <laughs> so you could have just ordered our own assassination. But I can also find new experiences here. While they're discussing this, I'm going to get up. Uh, Mina, do you wish to come? Oh, of course, I'm coming with you. Uh, I walk over towards Zindar's nook. So you walk over and He's got a booth. It's like a round booth, and it's kind of like that, right? Mm -hmm. And he's sitting here with his, you come up towards it, he's like towards this part of him, and you just see this giant of a man. You remember it well. It's definitely like him. His head is forward, and he's got this giant mug in front of him. Nobody else is around him, and he's got a big booth all to himself, and he's sitting there slumped, and he's just drinking. I will be as cordial as I can. Uh, he seems to be in a bad mood to uh, get his attention and go, um, Zindar? Zindar. Why? Well, talk to me during business hours. Zindar, I have a present for you. What? And he looks up at you. He's like, You! Do you know how long it's been? Uh, I think at least a few Four years. Four years. Four. Four Has it years. Been that long? Well, well, well. Um, you actually haven't had a lot of interaction with him, but he seems to you to be. I'm sorry. Did you guys go with him? No. Nope. No. Nope. He seems to you to be almost like the mannerisms of. A, he's so big. He's almost like a dragon type of guy. He's just like this slow moving kind of creature man. Human though. So he looks at you and he goes, 
It has been four years. Yeah, and you owe me. I, pay, I believe I paid you the dock fees before we left. But you left with a package of mine. Which package? It was a great big package, and you left. Hmm. I don't remember the package, but if you say so, I'm sure it was delivered. What are you, what are you doing here? Oh, we've come, we have business within the jungle. But before I go there, I did happen to bring you some sweet meats from Kalistar. Would you like them? Mm. Maybe. Should we sit? Just for a moment. Just a moment. That's all. <clears throat> yeah. Or. And he looks over, uh, he like looks for a waitress and snaps his fingers and almost, almost instantly someone buzzes up. This little tiny Chilton woman. Yes? What can I do for you? Did you wish something? Um, I wouldn't mind a mead after today. Two meads. Okay. Thanks. And she zips off. And I pull my sack to the side and reach in and pull out the little mahogany box and go, here you are. They're wrapped individually so you don't have to worry about them sticking together. You're not trying to poison me, are you? Not this time. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> you, you should take the papers off, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing here? Oh, like I said, we're here because we have business within the jungle. Right now, we're seeking a guide, a trustworthy guide who can take us into the hinterlands without too much loose lips. Why would you go there? There's nothing there. There's... It's just wild creatures and trouble. And uh, abandoned locations with treasure. We have, we have a recovery we must perform. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know exactly. Have you gotten yourself into trouble? Of course I have. Hmm. But not, not by any action of my own. Merely a misunderstanding of a young lady who just didn't quite understand it, what was going on. It really on. wasn't his fault. I was there. It wasn't. <laughs> mm. Well. What you can you understand, I'm sure. I've, I've known you for a while, so yes. What... So you are just looking for a guide? If you have a good reference, yes. Well, I have lots of good references. It depends on what you're looking for. Could I make one suggestion for the guide? Could it be a male? <laughs> if, uh, okay. I just think it would leave us less distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not a redhead. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, the tabaxi are somewhat good at wandering through the forest. We've known each other a really long time, right? Well, yeah. And you do owe me. It was if, a lot of money I had to pay to replace that shipment. It wasn't lost, I'm sure of it. Mm. When have I ever lost a shipment? Never. But let's be, let's be fair and say, I owe you a small favor. OK. So you do me this little favor. And and then I will give you the information you're looking for. It's just a small favor, small. and there are places that even I can't go in this big city. Something quick? I just need you to retrieve something for me, and then deliver it to me in the morning. I'm I hoping just, to get some rest, but... I have, no, I have no idea how long it will take you to get it, but... Um, what are ten the bells. Meet me at ten bells after you retrieve this and make sure you are not followed. It can't be tracked back to me. All right, what are the details? I need you to go to Mylar's throat. Really? Yes. Um, there is a satchel shop, and I need you to retrieve a satchel. Go to the, in, go to the keeper, the shopkeeper, mm -hmm. and tell him Vanguard's right hand. Does the shopkeeper have a name? His name is non ma non ma mm -hmm. All right. He's a bit funny, and the, the creatures that surround him are 
just keep your eyes on your items. Uh, I see. Yes. He's a he's a funny one. Mm -hmm. But it can't come back. It can't it will not get traced get, to me. This it, is very important and I don't know people what know anyone, my runners yes. and nobody knows you. Or at least I don't know what other kind of trouble you've been in. No one's looking for me here. Mm. That I know of. We'll do that and meet me tomorrow. And At 10 bells in the morning. 10 bells and thank you for the meat. You're welcome. Um, how would I recognize this owner, Monmouth? Oh. What does uh, he look like? Is he? He's a Cholton. Cholton? He's, okay. Yeah, I mean, he'll be behind the register. All right. And the name of the location was... Van, no, the item you needed was Van Gogh's right hand. But what was the location? Uh, it's a satchel shop. The satchel shop? Mm -hmm. Called the satchel shop. All righty, sounds very good. And I will see you in the morning? Yes. Thank you for the drink. Thank you for the drink. And <laughs> very nice to meet you. Well, your name is? Oh, this is Amina. She is my first mate. Very nice to meet you, Amina. Pleasure to meet you. He says, and he looks you in the eye, and his eyes are almost a flame. And the skin on his face is kind of, almost seems like golden, almost scaly, but you can't quite point out what. Get up and head back to the table. As what you do? guys come back over, we're still bickering. You've got to find out who people are before you give them codes. You don't know if they could have ordered our death, you could have ordered our poisoning, you don't know. I just ordered some, I ordered us a, uh, a good time. What does that mean? It means ale and food and entertainment. I just ate my own dog. Thank goodness you're back. Gosh. So How have you two? When Good they come time. back, you guys are just waiting this whole time. I'm thirsty. Did you not order something? I, I said order I have something. my dinner and I my ordered. drink. I, this man's just sitting this here. This very beautiful waitress, tall, dark, lean, long, almost cat-like creature, comes up and uh, hands you this glass, and it's very ornate. And there's like, um, kind of like those, those flowers. There's like mm. a string of flowers hanging out of it. And, um, and she winks at you, <laughs> hands it I, to you. I reach for the glass, and my hand accidentally wraps around her hand and caresses it. And I don't quite take the glass yet. Hello. He's off again. He I believe she's wanting time. payment. Would you like to sit with us? I am working right now, but if you'd like to pay for your Movan special, um, I will bring you another very soon. Of course. Can I pay you at the end? I, th I think now would be good. This is how we work here. That's it. Yeah. How can I pay you? How would you like to pay me? I lean back uh, and just look at him. He moves slightly away. Uh, it's two silver pieces. Two silver? Mm. Can I meet you later after we're done? Here's four silver. Thank you so oh, much for bringing me over you. the thank you. And she looks at you and she just... Excuse and then hands you the glass you. and goes thank on her you. way. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, that's for you. You bought it. You thank you. You can have your own ordered poison. Thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to lean over and, and take a look at what's in that glass. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like lots and lots of fruit. Is there sangria in Dungeons and Dragons? Sure. Like there sangria. is now. <laughs> sure. No. There is now. Yeah. It's, it's very good. It tastes like sangria. <laughs> it tastes like wine with fruit in it. Yes. Mm, exactly. It's very and good. Oh, I, no, no. I know what it is. It's mead with fruit in it. Mm. Ah. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Boom. Honey mead with fruit in it. Yes. So mm. it is sweet and delicious. And mm. you are, it's almost like you drink twice as much as you just drink. <laughs> Feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> good. Okay. How was your meeting? Mm. Very productive. We have one small errand to run. Okay. Do not imbibe too much. Okay. I just hey, Vartak, catch this. Now he's, he's <laughs> drunk. This isn't going to go well. Well, he's, he's done well in that condition before. I never he has, okay, drink good. too much. I keep control so that I do not miss anything. I do Another not like waiter to comes far. and there's uh, two meads for you. <laughs> it's one silver piece. 
Oh, it wasn't on Zendar's <laughs> cat? Mm, no. <laughs> I look over at Zendar's booth a little bit and just fine here. I'll give him four. Okay. You are holding gems, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just everything gems? that you have is in uh, gem form. Okay. No just pocket so cash. You know. Okay. So we'll have to figure out they know. Uh, the equivalent because you're more than likely going to have more gold of gems yeah. than silver of gems. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll give him um, a, a gem and say, here, this will cover these drinks and our meals. <gasps> so it's like a I would also like to speak to someone about possibly getting a room later for rooms oh, for all yes, of us. Yes, yes, of course. Um, how many gold pieces would you like that gem to be worth? Ten. Fantastic. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh. And he like looks over and gives somebody like a, like a hand signal. And so it's ten good pieces. OK, let's see. Since I know that the rooms here are expensive, and I figure with the meals and drinks, and this possibly cleaning up anything that someone might puke all over. Mm. This new Dungeon Master screen has like the food, drink, and lodging right on it. Nice. <laughs> the new Dungeon Master screen that's coming out in September. Yeah, I know. Okay, so um, he comes back, and how many rooms would you like? Four, unless anyone has an objection I, to that. I can share with the. the I one. don't mind sharing. I would like my own room. <laughs> I could share. Um, do you don't want to share? I am noble. I do not share my okay. room with other people. Okay. It's four gold pieces per room. Four per room? Mm -hmm. See, uh, we should share hmm. to save the money. Yes. Probably two rooms. Please. Yes, please. And the meals are uh, two gold pieces each. Okay. So that should... Two rooms is eight and twelve, so we're two gold shy. So I'll give him another five gold piece gem. Oh, thank you. That will cover your beneficiary as well. Yes, 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 yes. Um, when you are ready, just let us know and we'll escort you to your rooms. We may wander out and see the sights before we retire, but yes, we will let you know. Fantastic. And they leave, and you guys are here, and you go about your night. Mm -hmm. You're eating, you're drinking, it's beautiful. There's, you see a couple start to argue in the, across the room, and uh, the... Is it the same ones from the street? No, it's different. <laughs> um, uh, and they start fighting with the table next to them. And then all of a sudden, these waitresses flood in and almost create a wall around them. And their voices go down. And that's the extent of the chaos and ruckus that happen in this fancy place. Woo! So. Quiet. Different beautiful than... meal. You guys feel great, wonderful, full, tasty. Um, you feel a little. I'm still a little off. I don't know if that yeah. mead was the best idea. Uh, maybe it wasn't the mead. Maybe it was something you ate. Probably the fruit. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it was the delicious fruit that you were so kind to buy for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, if you need to take a moment, you can. But we do need to be about our business soon. So, Dungeon Master has to go to the bathroom. Ah. Uh, but if you guys want to deliberate and talk mm -hmm. about um, What's how you want to go, where you want to go, you know a little bit about Mylar's throat. It is the dirtiest, dankiest, grossest part of the city. It is. And aside from the refuse pile, um, it's this long area that has um, rope bridges. That's all you really know. There's lots of rope bridges, and it's disreputable. Dingy. Yeah. So, uh, Rutenberg, yep. I'm going to take my thing off. I got you. Thank you. So we're all converged in Captain's room having a discussion? No, we're at the table. Oh, we're still at the table. Yeah. You spoke to your friend. What did you speak about? Um, well, we caught up a little bit, and it seems he believes that I owe him a small favor, but he said as soon as I go and we retrieve this small package for him, he would have a recommendation for a guide. So we have to get him something. What is it he wants us to get? A satchel, a pouch. From from here, the city? Mm, in the city, yes. Okay. Uh, it's. I have to be honest, and it is not the nicest area of the city. 
Oh, so you, you can all go without me and I'll stay here then. It probably wouldn't be safe for you alone. Mm. You need protection. I can stay too. This is my someone of your exotic countenance could easily be taken by someone. You don't need a bodyguard. I, I could also stay. make them explode. You could. Mm. But they can do that too sometimes. So they want your friend. He wants us to get something for him. Yes. We're just going to go pick up a small satchel. Just no problem. Just easy. No, he didn't say anything. He just wanted someone who wasn't recognizable as being affiliated with him. So we need to be a little incognito. No, this, no one knows we know him, really. Okay. But it might not be a bad idea to be a little stealthier. Okay. But a satchel is like a needle in a haystack. No. It's, there's satchels. Everyone has yes. a satchel. You have a satchel. You have a satchel. You have a satchel. I yes. have many satchels. We're going to someone specifically that has a satchel. For a satchel. For a specific one. Do you, you know, know what's what it in it? Looks Sorry. Like? I do not know what's in it. No, I, that is not something that I ask. Mm. If people wish to That's have something fair. delivered, they will tell you me if they You should know if it know. is fragile or if it will explode in your face, though. I trust him. Okay. He's, he's the type that if there was something dangerous inside... We trust him. He would tell us. Okay. Well, the sangria... Is it running through? It runs through me so fast. So I must return. I am going to... Find a place where I can. You cannot do it on the street here. This is a nice environment, a no, nice establishment. No, they must have a place where. There I can. Yes, find the find the proper place. Excuse me. I know your type. Talk about do you? Do you know my type? I do know your Talk type. About I had to pay the woman to free her from your grasp. Rudy. Okay. I guess he he's not there. Um. Well, so this is going to be um, an area you should probably keep an eye out when we're walking through. How is the camera on? Should Kate? only one of us go in, you no. think? And everyone else keep guard outside? Uh, no. But it doesn't look weird, four of us go in asking? No, we're shopping. But it's after hours. Not necessarily. Oh. It's just in the evening. I like this place. If it's closed, well, we may have to gain ingress. Mm. You bumped the camera. Oh, there is an earthquake. <laughs> it was a quick alter shift of reality. As you do. Yeah, yeah it's LA, it's just an earthquake. Um, Oh, so, so are we going to go straight there now, or are we going to sleep? No, we're going to go there now. He's drunk. Yeah, he's tipsy. Oh. He's, like I said, he's done much, much more important things in a much worse state. Okay. Uh, what is he doing right now? Uh, he went to go hit the water closet. Oh, cool. And not the street. <laughs> I told him, don't do it on the street. Literally at the water closet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he's, he's off looking for the restroom and the three of you are sitting there mm -hmm. and your meal is over and the host comes back and says, um, are you ready for your rooms? Uh, no, we're going to go wander a bit to see the sights. Oh, fantastic. Um, I recommend going to uh, the Merchant District. It's really fun. Oh, yes. Uh, if you guys are, want to see something really fun, uh, tomorrow go to the dinosaur races. They're fabulous. Oh. Yes. Ah, is that over in the Coliseum? Um, it is in that area, I believe. I guess I'll figure that out. Are there <laughs> dinosaurs in my home country? Home I don't land? think so. Just here in Chol. Yeah, just here in Chol. I had a feeling I was surprised by the dinosaurs at the top. Yeah. <laughs> However, you did not see any dinosaurs in the uh, Red Bazaar. Interesting. Yeah. At least not this late in the evening. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he comes back from the loo, and you guys, what are you doing? Um, so, uh, if everyone is cleaned up, it's time to wander over to the... Uh, we're heading to what's known as Mylar's Throat. It's, like I said, a place where you should keep an eye out. There might be some individuals with sticky fingers there. Mm. Mm -hmm. It sounds exciting. It's always exciting with you. Uh, my large throat. Yes. And it's 
Where does Mylar? Who is Mylar? I have no idea. Okay. So, so are you heading out then? Yeah. Okay. You pass the host and he says, um, the real rooms will be ready for you um, there when you come back. Thank you. There appears uh, to be a monster coming in the room. I don't know. Oh, a, a waiter comes up to you <laughs> <laughs> as you are leaving. It's okay. It was just a shadow. It's just a waiter. Like a roadie. <laughs> I'll take some, please. Would you like a roadie? This funny little... Um, Go ahead, describe this, me. And, I'll, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll act it. Okay. There's a, a funny Thank you. little... Um, very young. He really looks like he wants to be of help, of service. And he's dressed very, very nicely. Dapper. And he's, he's a native Cholton. He also has this, um, his hair is Grow back. Dreadlocks. and But it's a little <laughs> bit wild. And it's back. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Head back. Yes, that's to keep the long hair back. And he's, uh, he looks like he, for, he, maybe he forgot to do this when you got there. <gasps> and he's like, oh, they, before they leave, I have to do this. And so he's force feeding me water. Great. <laughs> None for me, thank you very much. You look like you need it the most. It's okay. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. I will take it. You're doing a wonderful job. Just take deep breaths. <gasps> nice. And then breathe out again. Don't just breathe in. You have to breathe out again. You have to go nice and calm. You did good job. Good job. Now go back to the kitchen. Go yeah, sit in a corner. A little something for you? That was nice. It was nice. And how long have you were here? Oh dear, he's trying to eat it. Oh no, wait, oh gosh. <laughs> he's checking the seat of the video. Rudy Rutenberg, everybody. <laughs> uh, In the future, I don't think you need to tip the busboy. How he much did you tip him? He was doing such a good job. Always appreciate it. stingy, Captain. <laughs> What'd you tip him? What, what money are we using here? Besides gold and silver? Uh, you what's silver, what's copper? You have copper. Copper? Oh, I'll yeah. give him, I will give him uh, five copper. He looked at it like it was gold. That's so cute. Surprised he doesn't get paid in iron drabs. Uh, you guys are leaving, and um, you see him run off, scurry off, and the host looks and goes, "Oh, I am so sorry. He just—he—he's not supposed to be out in this area. I don't know why he does not." It's quite all right. There's and no. He like offense. bustles off to chase after him. So you guys, it's about I would say 11:30. Okay. Then uh, we will head out to the streets. Okay. So you're on your way to Mylar's throat. What you pass on your way is... Um, I can't show this map, I don't think, <laughs> so I'm looking at it on here because it's not available yet. Which one do you want? Yet. Um, can we... Are we allowed to show Port Nainzaro? Oh, probably not. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this is my secret map. <laughs> I'm looking at it now, and you guys are going to... You're going past the... If you want to see this map by the Tomb of Annihilation when it comes out in September. That's right. So you are going towards... Where's the numbers? You see... Oh, it's actually, it's actually not that far. But you do go through another big marketplace. And it leads you... Which way is north on this? It leads you off. Um, to the right of you is what looks like a big souk, um, a big indoor marketplace that's kind of cradled by a bunch of little markets. Mm. Uh, and the building seems to be really large over there. As you look past it, you see the glowing lights of the city cast this like luminescence over this giant statue that looks like it's in the middle of the water. Um, and it's like, I don't know. Sorry, everybody. If you Hopefully missed that it, wasn't that too was, loud. it's like. <laughs> that was lightning and storm. Thank you. <laughs> Filler. Um, it's almost golden, this beautiful statue of this ancient Chulton king. And he's wearing this big, beautiful feather headdress. Um, is what you, you guys can basically see, like this part of it, off in the distance, and um, everything's really beautiful. You walk a bit, and it's almost like the city wall, um, like market, lane, market, but wall. Mm -hmm. And you go towards it, and it 
then there's an archway. And the archway uh, seems to open up a very dark area. The light seems to be different than the light here in the marketplace. <coughs> OK. Um, we run into the throat. So you go in, and it seems to like ravine down. And there's just buildings lining this ravine, like stacked up, like almost like mm, the skyscraper apartments in China, right? Except for it goes down into the ravine. So mm. it's just like stacked on top of one another. And it's like, and you see these rope bridges that connect buildings to buildings, and people are walking around. And the bottom is, it looks like it just gets poorer and poorer and poorer as you go along. OK. Um, so moving in, uh, I'll turn to Vartak and I'll say, keep an eye on the back. Yes, sir. But are you sure this is the right time of night to be coming down here? No, not necessarily. I am not. It's a little late to be entering something so different. Mm. Maybe we should go back to the House of Repose? Possibly. Come back tomorrow? We'll possibly come back when it's more light. Let's see if we can get out without causing a ruckus. OK, I will watch our backsides. Ladies, move on. Head back towards the, the souk. You're going back towards the souk? Yeah. More markets? OK. What do you guys want to do? Um, Is there something specific that you are are you waiting? I'm looking for a money changer. Um, OK. Are you asking around? Uh, yeah. That's, excuse me. Is uh, Where is the money changer uh, for this Investigation market? check. Yeah. Investigation. Investi you're investigating this situation with your face. 15. Fantastic. Uh, you ask a couple people, and they tell you it's over in the souk. Uh, go to the jewel, um, the, the jewel market oh. area. And, but you go, you guys start wandering over there, you know, like a 15 minute walk through, you're getting distracted, you're shuffling, there's still a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But the, all the jewelers um, are closed for the evening. Uh, no money changer open? All right. I was hoping to get some change, but if they're closed, <laughs> we'll just head back to the, uh, to the repose. Okay. So you guys go back to the repose. What do you do? Go to bed. They clean up a little bit. Did go to bed. We, did, did we pay for the, the rooms? Yes. That's too bad. Who did we pay? We paid the host. Can I, I, can I talk to the host for a minute? Excuse me, sir. Um, so are you all there? Uh, or are you yeah. go, taking him aside? Take him aside. And I ask him, my friends, they uh, they used some of my, my coin to pay for the, the room. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if uh, I could exchange that for a little entertainment here I could provide because this place is beautiful. The, the clientele here is amazing, and the staff here is the top I've ever seen. So you want a job? For the evening, if I entertain your clientele, can we? Stay here for the night. You must audition. I can. I, mean, I can't just let anyone coming off the streets in whatever garb they are wearing that maybe is not appropriate for this kind of establishment. But maybe there is some gimmick that you can convince our the rest of the people here that make it worth watching. Of course, watching it. my gimmick will make you forget my garb. You'll see it; it will disappear, and you will only hear the sound of my gimmick. I don't believe that is what I'm saying, but um, come, and he like tries to escort you to this room. Uh, perception checks for you guys to see if you even hear this happening. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty 20. Oh, yeah. 17. You, you hear it. You hear what he's saying. And he, uh, he says, come, come. And he kind of brings you behind the register area, the host kiosk area, into this little room. It looks like a break room. <coughs> Pretty nice break room. Yes, and what, what, what can I do to, to audition for yes. 
And you need... You I need you to show me what you are going to do. And it's... This is a special harmonica. It was made by my grandfather and passed down many generations. His grandfather before him had a similar one. And once you hear it, Just a fine example. Roll, <laughs> roll performance with <laughs> <an> advantage. <laughs> Definitely the advantage, roll again. <laughs> uh, that's an, an 18. Awesome. With the advantage. Yeah, it's a good thing you got bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, he's just like, I, I never thought that instrument <laughs> it sounds so beautiful. I, I'm actually impressed. It's not quite the stringing sounds or the voice that we are used to, but I will allow you to entertain our people back in our uh, back in our stage area for one room for free. I accept your offer, and I'm very honored to have taken your acquaintance this evening. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Um, and he, sh the, you guys see him come out of the room. You guys got a smile on his face. <laughs> what did Bartek you just do to him? Bartek has a big smile when, on his face. When Bartek comes out, I was like, so did you get a job? What did you do a job? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> this is not that kind of story. Are you going to be performing? I will be performing. Ah, good. And he's at the other end of the room and goes, he's looking mm. right at you. Enjoy your time. I, I have to go to work. I'm going to watch. Go. <laughs> okay. So, you guys, are you all following? Yeah, walking over I'm towards sure. the stage to try to find some place to sit and watch him. I was going to it's, go to bed, but this is going to be far more it's entertaining. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning. Okay. So, he takes you through this door, and the door is this very tall, long, almost like a mix between Spanish and Elven. It's a beautiful, long door. It was like gilded tall door and he opens it and another big area opens up you know and it's a stage and there are people um, there are people around sitting at these little tables mm -hmm. and the stage this somebody is uh, wrapping their instrument up and getting ready to leave the stage and they leave out of through this uh, red curtain and the host sees that you guys are coming and says uh, feel free to sit in our uh, VIP table right here. Thank you. And uh, he escorts you behind the curtain and says, uh, you have five minutes. Uh, have a, a wonderful time, and we'll see how you do. So he leaves. The other person comes, you know, he's like wrapping up, and he looks at you <laughs> and walks off. <laughs> drinks, drinks. Can before you leave, can my friends get uh, some, 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 something to drink? They're, we've been traveling a very long time, as a very thirsty. They sit in the front row, out down there. Can they have some? We'll say um, in the VIP section, but yes, <laughs> uh, yes. I will, I will send them over some aid. Thank you. And he leaves. And you guys are settled in, and um, this uh, small Chilton just gives you each a mead Thank and then you. walks off. Thank you. Vatak, you have five in game minutes, and you have one that's a long time, one full minute in real life to do something fun for the people. Um, when, really? I say, when I say go, You will have one minute to entertain. One real life minute? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Ready? We can't roll for that? Okay. No. Okay, so it's a long time. You don't have to take the full minute, but this is all the time you have. So the lights dim. Vartak comes out. It's like a magical spotlight with like blue glowing wisps kind of cascade around it as it falls upon him. There's one stool right in the middle of the stage and Vartak walks out. Um. Ladies, gentlemen, Tavaxi, and start. And friends, I welcome you here to my evening. May you dine and drink and enjoy the pleasures of the evening. It is a beautiful night. The weather is just perfect to be out. Why sit at your home when you could be here with us? My friends here, they come to support my song and my music. And I would love to invite one of them, Khaleesi, up to stage. Because she can dance like you've never seen before. So I will play you some songs. And she will come up and dance. Khaleesi, to the stage. You are going to have to pay me so much gold. To <laughs> <laughs> She's done. While All right. I'm up here, I touch his harmonica and I, I turn it to light so it's extra magical. Ooh. Ooh. Are we talking a lot of light or a little light? It's a little light. Just a glow uh, so it looks magical. Hey, Rudy. Yep. Can you turn down the music so that we... There you did. Thank you. And, and we... ready? This is uh, one minute. And you explain what you're doing and he does his thing. Do you get the sparks in the wind when you're dancing? Oh, yes. Go. As I start to dance, I make my skirt fly around and the gust comes around and it makes my dress move by itself as I dance it. I have a nice little wind go around him and play with his clothing. And then as we get to a lovely exciting bit of music, I send out a lovely breeze out onto the audience that blows their hair back. Roll a d20. God, I hope it's not too strong. <laughs> okay. so I rolled a five. Okay, it gusts everybody. Woo! Great. Like a roller coaster. <laughs> Exciting! You are excited and enjoying it. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Levitate! We're levitating up on the stage. I'm touching him. I have to do. Levitating as he's doing his music, and I'm dancing in the gusty and the dress, and then we land. Lovely. Please stop. I'm so tired. Oh God. And the end. We bow. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I would make you roll um, a performance check, but that was amazing. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the narration. Um, you see, there are some people who are, have, are still grabbing their tables, <laughs> and their hair is just like, <laughs> just from all the salt from it's the air. It's all the latest style where I come from, I assure you. It's a good look on you. And some of them are, are clapping immediately, and some are like, <laughs> <laughs> and you are free to go about your evening. It is, uh, see, so one, what did I say, 1.30? Yeah, one, mm, one yeah, o'clock earlier. One o'clock. So it's shortly thereafter. Um, some people are like... <laughs> well done, Bartek. I think it's time. <laughs> oh, and Kalithi, your dancing was amazing. Thank you so much. A veritable beauty on wind. Wonderful. Can I go to bed now? Yes, let's Thank all go you. to get some rest. Um, and mark off your spell stuff too, because you cast mm. you fly earlier and levitate. <laughs> They'll come back after you sleep. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. after I sleep. So. So it's fine. Okay. What are you doing now? Going to bed. How many rooms do we have? Two. 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 Uh, good night, Captain. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. And uh, we go get to uh, one of the rooms. Okay, you guys walk up to the rooms. Your rooms are right across from the, each other in the hall. Big, beautiful doors. Everything's gorgeous. Um, 
There are two beds in each room. Each bed is covered in pillows and there's drapes on the wall and everything is decadent. And you are very happy to be on land, even though you love the sea. But man, this is totally worth it. There is a little um, basket of fruit and there's um, big fluffy towels in the restrooms, the personal restrooms, very exciting. Uh, there's little uh, candies on the pillow and you guys are going to sleep. Clean up and sleep. Clean up and sleep. Is there anything you'd like to do before you rest? Mm. Any I'm healing? You two are the same? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're the same? Okay. Um, I, I must, I, in my quarters on the ship, I, I have done this. So I, I push the beds together to make big bed because I need to be bed, I need to have my space. I summon a magic hand to push the beds back apart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like my personal space. You would be wise to remember that, especially while you are unconscious sleeping. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Make an exception for tonight. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys go to sleep um, before, no, yeah, you guys go to sleep. Are you... Um, I'm going to uh, see if I can get a, a wake up at uh, 7. Okay, good. I was wondering if you were going to do that. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> we're not sleeping through. Okay. So uh, they say, yes, you will knock on your door at 7. And he leaves. Breakfast if possible. What would you like for breakfast? Would um, you like a hearty breakfast or a light breakfast? Mm. Would you like... Um, Something to make you more awake in the morning, or would you just like some uh, you know, juices good. and stuff? Uh, something to energize and awaken us. Would you like both rooms to be yes, broken? Yes, please. Very good. And backs up and walks out, and you guys get in bed. You're staring at him while he's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but you go to bed, and you sleep one of the most comfortable sleeps you've slept in a very, very long time. And the knocking at the door in the mm -hmm. morning at exactly seven bells is delightful and very pleasant. It's almost as if it was gently knocking and then gets progressively louder and louder and louder and louder. Wake up, go get to the door. Mm -hmm. You go to the door? Yeah. Um, the, no the knock stop for you as well. Um, oh yes, just uh, your morning call and Thank breakfast. You. Thank you, Ben. And he <laughs> actually right it's not. It's totally oiled. What am I talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. He rolls <laughs> in a beautiful cart. <laughs> Glides in. <laughs> Glides in, and food okay. for you. Um, we have, I open the door. What? Oh, I. Um, Dark talk. He's also standing on the so cross. And there's food. <gasps> And beverages. Do you have coffee? Thank There's you coffee so in, in Be polite. We're Dungeons leaving and Dragons. Soon. Finish and up quickly. There. Very happy. Thank you. They leave. You have food. Just grab a quick breakfast. Then like 15 minutes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 15 minute breakfast. And then. Go across the hall. <laughs> Let's go. Ready. Boom. Boom. Any other rest? You are yours. Okay. Good. Then you go on your way. You make it through. The sun is out. Uh, the sun is rising. Mm -hmm. It's 7 a.m. We'll say, we'll say it's springtime. Or not. I don't know. I guess I have to talk to Rudy <laughs> about that. Whatever time it is, Sunday. the sun is starting to come up. And it's that beautiful tropical sunrise. And it's the sherbet. And just you feel alive and like walking into it. Uh, you go through, and you get to Mylar's throat, and it still has that darkness. <laughs> it's dark. It it's deep. It doesn't look any better today than mm. it did last night. So no, but I feel better. This much. Yeah, like, <laughs> like yeah. that this much. This much better. <laughs> but I feel better. That's it. Yeah. So. Uh, people out and about yet in uh, Mylar's yes, throat? Yes. The I mean, people are very much awake in there. Okay. Um, it's kind of like Vegas, where it just is... Kind of always the same time. Yeah. Her, through the windows, it's brighter sometimes. <laughs> uh, walking down the street, uh, look for the nearest little kid that seems to be wasting time. And 
What, no. what you notice okay. is um, the street turns into a bridge which goes to another little nook which goes to another nook and there's lots of kids. They seem to be traveling in groups. Um, okay, if they're traveling in groups, uh, as we're walking, I'm going to throw a thief's can hand gesture for need information. Okay. Is that a... Um, Hmm. Is that a hand gesture? Thieves can't hand gesture. Oh. Well, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess you do have that. So you throw it out. <laughs> yeah. And um, we both do. this, like, this tabaxi walks up. Okay. And, like, kind of walks by you and looks like she's fixing something. Goes, yes, what can I do? How can I help you? Um, I stop and pretend to be tying my shoe or my boot. Mm -hmm. And I say, we're looking for the satchel shop. Uh, uh, oh, well, um, so that's uh, three rope bridges forward and two down to the right. Thank you. Uh, um, and then kind of like yeah, her tail kind of goes. I turn to, uh, I turn to uh, Amina and I say, give her a little something. I think we should be really nice to the people here to know where we're at, so let's give her two jewels. No, you have, you have gold. Oh, I have my own gold? Yes. Um, yeah, the three of you have gold. He's, he has jewels that equate much more gold. I think I'll give her five, just to make sure that people like us here already. Okay. Okay. So how do you give that to her? She's doing this. He's on the ground tying his shoe. Doesn't have ties, laces on his shoes, which is fuck, was hilarious. Deception. <laughs> um, Adjusting my boot. I'm going to kind of walk to the left of her and look down the kind of alley thing going on and then just kind of brush her, only sliding them into like a pocket on the side of her hip as I walk by. Uh, roll slide of hand. Here, why don't you roll it in this? <laughs> I said that first, so. Yeah. Uh, you did. Right here, take some help. Yeah, because I feel like you got to give it a good spin. That's mm. um, it's like the magic of Kyle. <laughs> the magic of Kyle? Yeah, you give your dice a good spin. These Rudy die are my... That's take. much better. What yeah. did you get? 18 and Plus. What? Hand. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. See, oh, yeah. thanks Wormwood for your 21. beautiful dice 21. tray. <laughs> Twenty-one. I know. You walk yeah. by. <laughs> you walk by. And, oh. Your mic's falling. Yeah. Can't hear you. You have to speak. Okay. Move the mic. Can you hear me if I talk like this? Or do I need to move it over yeah, here? You're already like quiet as is. Uh. So, like, move it up. It's, it's tough to hear boost from that far. Yeah, that should be better. Is that but good? Can you check That's it? Probably gonna be better. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank we'll you, Rudy. Um, 21. I'm sorry. 21. You slide over. Actually, that should work just fine. Okay. Uh, you slide over, and um, she notices and winks at you. Her tail just kind of like where she flicked at him before, she kind of and then keeps walking forward, puts her bag on her shoulder, and just continues on. Uh, offhandedly, I'll, go, I'll muse myself. I wonder if they have red fur. Uh. What? Red fur? <laughs> yeah, they're cat people. That's right. Mm -hmm. Is she a redhead? Okay, <laughs> okay so uh, you go uh, on going, the path that they Yeah, said. going down the, the ropes. Everybody roll. Um, perception check. It's up to you. 16. Mm -hmm. 13. 14. 17. Nice. Uh, you going about your way. People are hustling, bustling around. You're doing pretty good. Yeah. You go, um, what was it, like three, what did I say, three and then two? Uh, mm -hmm. Three over, two down. You do feel the weight of this place. It's very dark and it's starting to get really creepy. As you approach this um, building, it's a small, very small, like almost Santee Alley style where it just goes, like all the businesses are small and long. Like mm -hmm. It goes into the side of the... the sort of a shotgun. Yeah. Um, in front of it, there's a name, but it's like painted out. And then another name that's kind of painted over that. 
and that's painted out. You can see like the different layers of it. And then you see the satchel shop on at the front of that. And okay. there's a door and a window and they're just satchels, lots and lots of satchels. Mm. And um, right in view is the owner and it's 7 a.m. and he seems to be Ex resting his eyes a bit. Excuse me, would you happen to be Monmouth? Would you like a satchel? I, I have many satchels. I would. In particular, I was looking for one satchel. I believe it's called um, Vanguard's Right Hand. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, um, yes. Well, you are, you are very late. I'm, oh. And he, like, stops and... I'm sorry, we were unexpectedly detained. Mm. You weren't followed, were you? Not that we know of. No one knows we're coming here. And he uh, goes into the back of the shop, and you see these little eyeballs, like, peek out from around. It's almost like satchels, satchels, and then these little stands. They have lots of satchels around them. Uh, there's four of them, and a little, and they're, it's like a frog person. He's like the little frog person. Ooh, ooh. Uh, everyone roll a history check. Natural 20. Nice. Uh, 17. Seven. 16. Uh, you are like, that's a grung. That's a grung. You, rem you remember, these are the natives from Chalt, the little frog people, and they're very, they're very... There's something about them. You can't seem to remember what mm. it was about them, but there's some, they're little, and you do remember that they have different colors and because of food, and, but that's, that's all you remember. Um, okay. This one's a little green one. I'll smile and wave. <laughs> Their eyes are actually like here, so it's yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. And he kind of goes back. And the shopkeeper comes out and he goes, and he comes out with a little satchel, mm -hmm. and he puts it into another satchel. And when you, when you put it, when, he, when you see this little satchel, there's a little hand on, like emblem. And he puts it into another satchel that has a dragon face on it. And what you notice is that all these satchels seem to have little icons on them. So behind, behind them, behind the desk it are very like normal looking satchels with very specific um, colored and uh, styled emblems on there. And the ones on the floor are more like wood carvings, uh, leather embossed uh, emblems on the front. Okay. Um, is, is that what we're here for? I'll take the satchel. Thank you. We appreciate your business. Be careful out there. You obviously are not from around here. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. But thank you for the warning. Is there anything in particular we should be wary of? Yeah. Be careful of fish hooks. Good to know. May I ask you a question before we leave? Yes. Do you run the shop alone? Do you work with anyone else here, or is it just you? Oh, I have many people that work for me. Okay. Is there somebody you're looking for? No, I just, I, I just wanted to, to know. I saw someone skulking around your satchels. I wanted to make sure that he worked here. He oh, yes, coming. yes. The little, okay. the little one with the eyes. Then I won't worry about it. No, he's, he's very... N not harmful. He's very cute. In this building. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Thank you. It was lovely to meet you. Oh, very nice to meet you. Perhaps we will be back soon, Mama. If you need a satchel. We know <laughs> the best place to come. <laughs> and if you need any exotic goods, I can... Oh. I know some mm. people. You know, should you come back and, sure. and be looking for things. We and if we have something we need to um, have taken care of and turned into... Taken care? As taken in, uh, care of? No. Um, 
easily transferred into money, sold. Like an item Perhaps. that's your... If we come across something that we wish to have oh. quickly changed into yes. cash. Yes. Oh, for probably more cash than yes. you would get up yes. in the jewel market. Yes. Yes. Come back and I will, I, I will see it and I will direct you to the correct place. Uh, I, I would like to inquire about the, uh, the exotic goods. I would like to inquire about what you have to offer. There are so many things to acquire in Port Nainzaru. Absolutely. Yes. I have heard that story. I have heard that you have the most eclectic mix, and the most diverse selection of exotic goods across the land. It's true. And you are in a hurry. You. you need to get back to where you need to do your thing because you are very late. Okay. We should go then. So, come back to me. Uh, what what exactly are you looking for? What what type of thing are you looking for? Uh, Something that could make one feel a certain kind of pleasure, change their disposition. When you return. I will direct you to the correct place if I don't have what you are looking for. Thank you very much. So he goes back to his desk and starts falling asleep. It's probably, what, 7.30 now? Um, oh, no, it actually would be because of travel time. Let's say it's like 8.30. Okay. And um, it's like this. You see a couple more little eyeballs, different eyeballs uh, pop up, more grung. And you leave, and you go back to... We go uh, head towards the market to go meet. Cool. Everyone roll perception. <laughs> Three. My eyes are closed. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark, and you like the pressure of this place is not doesn't make you happy. You yeah, love the ocean. You love that vast easy. openness. I have my own ship someday. Exactly. And this makes you feel very uncomfortable Claustrophobic, if you will. I got 23. Cool. I got a 19. I got the big 20. Um, so, now roll a sleight of hand, the three of you. 25. 17. Nine. Uh, you guys see these fish hooks come down from the bridge above you, and they go, <laughs> whoosh, whoosh, they take your purses and go, go flying up. Uh, you see one, but you grab your coin purse and you grab your coin purse, but the two of you are now missing your coin purses. Is it still hanging from the? It's oh, it went up, up to the already. next. Yeah. Is it? Is it, it's not visible anymore? So you look up yeah. and you see a group of kids, and they start running off. They go off, you know, one of the things, and you guys. I'm going you to. Are, you have no gold pieces unless you had hidden some somewhere. Like, they took your coin purse. I'm going to summon a mage hand to grab the wrist of the, the hand of the child that's holding my coin uh, purse right now. I believe the distance on there is too far. Is it? Yeah. The range is pretty short. Yeah, I think it's like 30 feet or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you go to g reach up with your mage hand and it kind of gets goes as far as it can possibly go. The kids are laughing. Have you ever seen a kid run? Kids run really, really fast. Yes. I have heard of these children. <laughs> I heard so many stories. <laughs> <laughs> they are called the, um, these, uh, so, ma, no, the ma, Maranta. They are called the Maranta and they are known for being experts at fishing, but not for fish. And I have to say, it's kind of funny that they took your satchel. It's funny. It's funny, but we, we can go try to find them, but they are very renowned for disappearing into the shadows. There are lots of groups of kids, by the way. <laughs> well, well, that's a, a wonderful story, let's move.
Yeah, we have more important things. You guys go that. back. You barely make it back to the harbor master uh, it's meeting at ten. Ding, ding, uh, ding. Little sweaty, even walking, and also you are in your normal ocean gear. You're, I'm a pirate, and this is what I'm wearing. Um, so it's actually really hot and humid, and you're, you're. I think you. You might be more comfortable with the outfits that you're wearing, but the three of you are just, it's sticking. Everything's sticky and sweaty and toes are juicy. You make it to the harbor master and you go to the door. I assume you walk in, yep. you see the secretary, same position, crazy eyes, big glasses. What? What? What are you um, looking at? Weren't you just here? This, we, you were just here? Yes. Yeah. What can I do? We're here to see the harbor master. What time is it? It is almost ten bells. She finds a book. Oh, he is. Oh, he's in his office. Yes. Yes. It's... I will. I will go get him right now. Thank you. And then she, like, comes up and she's got just like paper stuck on her, like with her. She's holding a book and she's got pencils in her hair. And she waddles off over and uh, she. You hear like a gruff man's voice. You don't hear exactly what he's saying, but it's like, blah, blah, blah. and she's like, I got good times with that, because there's people, and they're here, and they just always want to interrupt me, and I'm doing the thing, and, and then she waddles out and gets on the desk, and goes, you can go in now. Thank you. And then she sits down and goes about her doing the things that she was doing for the last million years. <laughs> Wander into the office. Zindar. Um, is it... Good time for a meeting. Yes, yes, it's a it's a perfect time. You were here exactly uh, at ten. Everyone, roll perception check. Eighteen. Twenty-three. Four. Six. <laughs> um, you noticed that you were being followed at first while you're in Mylar's throat, um, but you don't think that you were being followed after you got to the markets. Okay. So, uh, you guys, you're like, we're fine. Nobody followed us. So, unless you tell anybody else that, then. Did I, did they, did I see them up close? Did I get a good look at no. the following people? Okay. No. You just feel like, I think I saw Felt that guy something. around the, yeah. We're drawing attention to ourselves. So, now you're in the office. Okay. Um, so, uh, here you go. I'll pull out the dragon satchel and s slide it across the floor next to his desk. Mm. And he opens it up and he opens the one inside and he's like... Is it what you hoped for? And he kind of opens it and goes... And he reaches in and you see him drop the satchel, open the drawer next to him, and just quickly put a vial of brightly blue colored fluid into the drawer and he closes it very gently like he doesn't want to break it even though he knows he's a very large dragon of a man um, and settles in and goes, I, I do thank you very much. You're welcome. And we will we will call this even. We are even now, and I will give you the information you were looking for. What exactly, what is your purpose here? What, what are you here for? We have to go in and we're looking for a particular item which I hope you can keep confidential. I keep many things confidential. Um, well, I hate to say we are here in order to get the pulse of Chult. Okay, that's a very interesting item. It is. Luckily, we have something to help us find it. Do you? Yes. What do you have? Something. Mm. Are you going to accompany us? I didn't think so. I thought you were busy. Mm, I am. Just curious, mostly. Yes. So. But we are looking for a guide who can help us go into the inner lands to find it mm. and navigate the dangers that exist in the jungle. Well, since it's a very interesting gem, 
perhaps, perhaps my friend in the jewelry market might know. Yes, she deals in very exotic, elaborate gems, so perhaps she would know, or uh, because it's a, a local, it's a, just a rumor, legend. Uh, legend, perhaps one of the Ubtau priests would know. They probably would know a bit about, the, about it. The Utau priests? I'm not familiar with So them. Utau is, um, they're very, very ancient. Uh, but go, go to the Utau temple in Mylar's throat. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe one of the priests might be able to help you further. Before or after we should speak to your friend in the jewelry market? Um, whichever you choose. I mean, the jewelry market is lovely this time of day. Um, but yes, and it's, uh, it's a bit safer, the jewelry market. Mm -hmm. As you've seen, Mylar's throat is, it's a dark place. Yes. Did you guys seem to be okay? Not well, so much. Some of them were fished. <laughs> I recommend, and I should have said this before, I thought you knew. <laughs> I, I recommend been. keeping your personal bits on the inside parts. Well, that's the thing. I put it in pockets. my skirt, and I put my empty purse out on my, my, my skirt, and now they have my empty purse. But I liked that purse. I liked that purse. I wanted uh, oh, to keep it for myself. speaking of that, what are you going to do with the satchels? Uh, roll a percentile die. Actually, what does that no, mean? roll a d4. Okay. I'm going to see if you actually had it on the inside because you didn't tell me that ahead of time. Well, here's the thing. When we were going into the area, I wanted to say, but I didn't, which is my fault, that I secure everything on my person. Then roll a d20, cold. and evens okay. will be, it was in your skirt. Cool. It's a 15. Balls! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, anyway. <laughs> what, what are you going to be doing with your satchels? Oh, I have to... I have to They need to be returned, eventually, but I do not, uh, I do not have what I need to put in them. Put in them. All right. And that, that's all you need to know about that. Yes. But maybe if you're around in a couple days um, and you were wanted to, you could definitely take them. If we happen to be here, we might be on our way by then. Well, see me in two days, and if you are here... If you are here in two days, then fantastic, and I would love to uh, use your services again. And what was the name of your friend in the jewelry market? Uh, my name of my friend is Maca Michaela. M A K. -A. And you said it was priest of. Ubtal. Ubtal. Very well. Thank you so much for your help, Simon. Perhaps we'll see you at the repose later. That's pretty much where I am every evening. Um, Not sure if we will be there, but we shall see. Fantastic. I hope you have a wonderful time in our beautiful city. Thank you. And he goes back to his desk. Paperwork, paperwork. Port guy, port guy. Head out. Uh, go check on the boat. Okay. Make sure the ship is okay. Um, See if the crews avoided any drunken troubles. Oh yeah, there's. It's been a really nice night. Okay. Yeah, they report back. We'll be here when you're ready. All right. Um, so, how many gold pieces do you have left? Um, I'm sitting on 35 gems, uh, 35 gold pieces worth of gems. I'm going to go hit my cabin mm -hmm. to see uh, and grab a, a bit more to to take with us to hire these people. Okay. All right. How much would you like to take? Um, I'll go back to my normal traveling amount of 250. Okay. Awesome. All right. So do you guys want to gather anything while you're in the, in the ship? I'm going to go back to my quarters uh, since I left. I split my, I have 500 gold to start with. Split it in half before we left, 
the dock, and I had 250 in my room, so I'm going to get that now since the other 250 is Okay, gone. so now that is what you have in your life, 250 gold pieces. I, I go back to my quarters, and I think I should change because I'm still missing a sleeve from almost falling off the ship earlier. <laughs> and I look a little suspicious. Maybe brush over this bald spot, too. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have a good bit of a time to, to sail into the harbor. <laughs> just trying to fix everything. She was a little out of it. I, I like the idea that she's just like... Disheveled the whole time. Totally a mess. <laughs> Any uh, hit points back for the rest, by the way? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. You're rested. You're fed. You're rested. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I'll grab one of my spare satchels, but I'm only going to take 50 gold with me this time. I'm just a little cautious. How much would you... Um, I'm going to say... You did a similar thing where you took half of your stuff. Okay. So, how much did you have? Was it the 500. 500. Yeah. So, you have 250 left. Oh, okay. So, you, you want to take 50 with you now? Yes. Okay, cool. So, you have 50. I would write this down. You have 200 on the ship and you have 50 in your pocket. Seeing her do that, I think it's a good idea. I do the same thing. <laughs> What would you like to do? I, I don't go to my room. I gather the crew members together who are a very good friends of mine. And I gather a group and I start to tell them about the night's events and how incredible the city was and what I saw and what I experienced and that it was it just it just was it just took over my body and I, I tell this elaborate story of beasts and women and Money and and role performance. <laughs> Fifteen. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, so that all that happened, really? It Where? Was in through there through the. The buildings of stone, oh. and the streets paved with gold, and the streets paved with gold. <laughs> That's and amazing. The vines running up the walls oh. of the architecture. So they are inspired. They are, they all are itching to get out to Port oh. Nainzaru, and they're like they're watching the clock tick until their time is uh, their uh, time off is they're happening. Short leave. Shore leave, yes, that's what they're waiting for, and they're all kind of like planning on the things that they might do when they get there. And so you see, there you gave them sparkles in their head. Okay. Good no. job raising morale. Um, walk up to the deck with everybody and go. All right, um, to the crew. I appreciate your work over the evening and keeping the ship safe, and I believe it's safe enough here. I would recommend leaving a skeleton around, crew behind. Uh, half the crew can go on shore leave, and the other half will stay for a day, and then you will come back and exchange location. Yeah! You're the best! Oh, I love this Yay. guy! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we will write this down now. You, there were 20 of you. Mm -hmm. Minus one. Mm -hmm. But only a little one. So there's 15. Total. Yeah. So seven will go today. Yeah. And then eight tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So eight. Captain, mm -hmm. may I recommend that you tell the crew to bring back any supplies they may wish to take with them on the sea when we set sail again? Perhaps food or rations? Yes. That's, mm -hmm. that's a good idea. Save remind the, remind the crew you should resupply the ship. We won't be leaving any time that soon, but just in case. Arr, arr. So you're, is it the, um, uh, what, what is the, on the ship, so there's like the captain, the first mate, but then there's like somebody else that takes care of the ship? Is that mm, a, a bosun. No, there's like another guy. I was watching Black Sails. <laughs> like Who are you? Yeah, there's like a guy who's like not his first mate, but oh. he's like, anyways, <laughs> so like there's a guy that takes, a, well, white, she, white she is. Yeah, it's like the guy that takes care of the things. The petty officer? I guess. So that guy officer. comes up and he's like, yes, aye, aye, captain. And he, uh, um, they go about their day and then the other guys run. They just, the <laughs> ones are, that, have, that are free to go that day, 
they're like, 24 hours, we're <laughs> going, 24 bells. And they run off, and you just, you, they leave the ship before you barely turn. Reach to the plank. <laughs> yeah. So, now they're going, is there anything else you'd like to do on the ship? House of Repose, <laughs> say Vartak sends you. <laughs> they, they're not going to be able to afford that part. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, no, so, uh, nothing else that I can think of. Cool. Um, so you, everyone has their money settled. You guys mm -hmm. leave. You go towards... We're heading over to the jewelry district first. That's right. Uh, roll a d4. Let's see which way you go. Got a three. Uh, I don't know why, but this thing always blacks out one of, like, a page. It's loading. It's taking a while to load the page. Okay, so you guys go. Do, 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 do. The jewelry markets in the merchant's ward. You guys go. All right, you guys go through the fish. <laughs> the fish market. So you go through the fish market mm -hmm. and you make your way around to. What you see is you're kind of taking a, a route. You guys ask around, and people are kind of sending you off in these other ways. You go by the fish market, and for those of you who like fish, it's amazing. For those that actually don't, it's gross. And you wander around, and um, you see this big building, and it's like a palace. And uh, you ask around, and they're like, oh, that's the merchant's villa. It's like up on a hill type thing, mm -hmm. and you see like, what looks like a, like these bridges that kind of um, go to other smaller areas like that. And you walk by it and you continue on your way to the Merchant's Ward. And in the Merchant's Ward you pass uh, You pass a couple temples, and um, they're actually big and beautiful temples. You see one is a temple of Savras, you see one is a temple of Gond, and one is a temple of Sun. And they're just big and beautiful, and there's people just, it's bustling for a temple. Um, take a quick diversion into the temple of Sun. Okay. You Are you going in, or yeah. just? I'm going to go in, uh, make a quick donation to the, to the temple. There's, in the donation area, there are three women standing at the donation, and they're just like, thank you. You're welcome, priestess. Thank you. And they're all, do you do anything? <laughs> <laughs> the red-haired priestess of Sun. <laughs> are they all redheads? Yes. Uh, no, actually. Um, actually, they are. All princess, priestesses of Sun are redheads. Are they? Yeah. That's what we, okay, I was wondering if that's what we read. Yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> they're all redheads. And they come out, ha, ha, ha. And you see some in the back. They're like, how much did you put in the donation? Uh, just five. Five gold. <laughs> and then they start We're just looking for your blessings while we are on our journey. Oh, many blessings, many blessings, Captain. <laughs> and you see some fluttering around in the backgrounds. Do you guys wait outside or? Um, I'm going to follow in. A wonderful okay. priestess. For the... uh, I wonder, do you have a washroom I may use temporarily? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can I, I appreciate can it. I pull I'm going to go a secret. <laughs> can I tell you a secret? Yes. Um, do you want to tell them what the Temple of Sun is actually a religion of? Soon is the goddess of love and beauty. Exactly. <laughs> Come talk to my soul. This is my good friend, Captain. I do not like to hurt his feelings, but he is of the type of the... He has a eunuch type. What? A eunuch type. The poor thing. Unique? A, a eunuch. That is not what he is saying. Oh. A eunuch. Not eunuch, a eunuch. Oh. Poor thing. So we do not like to hurt his feelings, so don't talk about it. We try to keep him away from danger. <laughs> so if you could tell all your friends not to hurt his feelings, oh. it would be best for all of us. Oh, poor dear. Thank oh, you. thank you so much. Thank you. thank you. And she comes back, 
and she see like she looks at all of her girlfriends and does this thing and they all go oh <laughs> they start fawning over you <laughs> um i come on we have to stay focused yeah uh, yeah yes yes um, <laughs> of course thank you ladies we we appreciate your blessings uh <laughs> perhaps We'll come back again for some more. Oh, yes, you are always welcome here. Mm -hmm. And then you got, she, she leads you out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Amina's like, Oops, sorry. Um, yes, yes. She leads you out. Onto the jewel. Um, across from you is, I believe, a. There's a lot of places here. Okay. It's the jewel. Jewelers district, the merchants district. You oh, whatever. there's a lot of places. Pardon my my searching. Okay, this is the oh good. You walk under the bridge. Walking under the bridge. Walking under the bridge. Under the bridge. There's all these markets. There's um, you see a lot of clothes like local um, local Chalton clothes, and. Um, they vary in like colors and uh, styles and like uh, some are very, very rich looking, some are pretty plain. And you come to the jewelry market and you are looking for... Yeah, I'm looking for Michaela. Okay. So, so uh, investigation. Investigation. Uh, everybody. Are or you all looking? Mm -hmm. uh, then just uh, if they're helping you, then just advantage. Okay. okay. Uh, highest was an 18. Fantastic. Uh, Lowest was a 15. You ask somebody, they don't really know, and then uh, they ask another, and while you're asking, your uh, sorceress comes up, doesn't say anything, just keeps walking with you. She looks a little damp. Khalifi? Did something, <laughs> something happen, Khalifi? Oh, it's, uh, I went to the wash. I went to the washroom to wash up. Mm -hmm. and I slipped and I just fell in. The <laughs> I cleaned up. I cleaned up. The so no one else needs to so you make your way down. I don't know if you guys have been to Santee Alley, but it's just like the, the jewelry market area mm -hmm. where it's just like vendors and vendors and vendors and lots and lots and lots. But then there's a little building and in the building looks like where the nice stuff is, like okay. really nice. They have, looks like they have their own storage areas and stuff. You go into the building and uh, you ask somebody and they say, oh yes, just to the right over there. And you walk over and it is the most strange, almost like a curiosity shop, but gems. And it's very, they're like funny shapes and all these things. And some of them are long and some of them look like they just were grabbed out of the ground. Like uh, stalagmite, right? Stalagmite? Yeah, like that of crystal. So you were there. Behind the desk is a, um, a, a a mousy woman, her hair is um, up in a nice bun. She has nice earrings and jewelry, and she looks very. She's dressed very plain, but her jewels are very beautiful. And she's filling out paperwork, and she sees you walk in. Excuse me, um, would you happen to be Michaela? Oh yes, yes I am. Zindar sent us. Oh, he is wonderful. Yes, he is wonderful. Um, I am. I, I am Michaela. We, we would like to speak to you about possibly getting some information or a guide. Um, is there a, a private location or are we good to speak here? Oh, we are good to speak here. It's pretty enclosed. It's an enclosed area. Okay. Um, we're looking for someone who can help us look for some legendary treasure that we're seeking. Huh. Is there something specific? Um, I mean, this is a very big island. There is, um, if it's confidential. Very confidential. I believe you've heard of the Pulse of Cholt? <laughs> uh, yes, I have heard of that. Um, mm. Whether it's real or not, I don't know. But um, you're looking for the Pulse of Cholt? Yes. It's 
kind of an intense item if it exists. Yes. Yeah. Um, well. We, hmm. we have information to where we might be able to find it. And we're looking for a guide to take us into the depths of the jungle in order to seek it out. Okay. I have a friend. Hmm. You know, there are... Hmm. If, if it's too much bother, I guess we could go somewhere else. I have... This item is... is very ancient. And... Hmm. What can you tell us of it? So my, my friend is an archaeologist, and he's, he's mentioned a little bit about it, but um, it's, it's a very powerful item. And I mean, just the four of you are looking for it. It's mm -hmm. Yes. I'm certain there are more people looking for it, but we want to find it first. Oh, well, and you're a friend of? Zindar. Hmm. Well, perhaps you'd like to buy us some jewels. Perhaps I would. Hmm. Perhaps you would like to purchase, she like has this, she opens up her hand and there's this like big, blue, beautiful, um, I don't remember what the name of that cut is, but it's like a, a oval, almost like a teardrop shape. So perhaps she would like to purchase this. It's um, 40 gold pieces. Hmm. So beautiful. And this would be of use for our journey? It would be very useful for information if you gave me ah. 50 gold pieces for this yes. beautiful, I see. beautiful I see. gem. Yes. Um, I believe I have some smaller, more pedestrian gems which you can use to accentuate some things of about that amount right here. She takes them. Thank you. And puts them away without letting you see them again. And um, goes, okay. Don't tell anybody that I told you where to find uh, my friend. Um, he's a little awkward, and he doesn't really live anywhere, but he can be found in, um, in Mylar's throat at the, uh, at the Uptau temple. Uptau temple? Mm -hmm. And his name is Kumpaulot. Kumpaulot? Kumpaulot. And how do we recognize him? Well, he's the only one there who's dirty and smells nice. <laughs> You'll see what I mean when you get there. I see that. And um, he, you believe he would be free for hire? I believe he will, be he will have the information that you will definitely need. I see. Yes. Um, yes. Seeing your wares, do you ever need export? I do. Uh, as our ship does such services from time to time, you can always inquire for us at the Sea Sphinx. Oh, thank you. And she takes her pen. Do, 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 do. Writes Just, that down. I am Captain Rodriguez. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. We appreciate the information, and thank you for the wonderful purchase. I will tell everyone to come here. Very good. Thank you very much. As I walk out, I'll make sure. We'll be back. Your items are wonderful. <laughs> uh, performance check. <laughs> uh, natural 20. Nice. Oh, that well-dressed captain man. Oh my goodness, he likes that place. Uh, you leave, you go back to Mylar's throat. Mm -hmm. 
You make your way through. Make sure we're uh, securing the yeah, wait. Well, everything is secure wealthy items. My skirts on my thighs. <laughs> okay, everybody's got their things and their bits and their places. And, um, so you make your way through, you ask around, and look for the temple. you looking for the temple, and it is down and down and down, um, pretty close to the wall of the, the entire city, through Mylar's throat. And it's dark and it's dangerous. Everybody, roll me four perception checks. Four. Yeah. Are we adding them up? No. no. Just roll four. four and, and tell me, like, tell me what you get. Seventeen, nineteen, seventeen, twenty-two. Jeez. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 18, 18, 8, and 27. 5, 14, 19, and 8. Uh, hmm. What does that have to be? 17, 8, 15, and 4. Okay. Uh, did anyone roll over a 20? Did I hear that? 27. I got, okay. I got over it, 20. You get over 20. Okay. Uh, you guys are definitely being followed. And you now have seen the way the fish hooks work, mm -hmm. and you avoid a couple of fish hooks. Uh, you definitely are being followed from a distance. There are a couple different people following you. Just, we we notice fish hooks come down. More fish hooks. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah dodge. you dodge them. Oh, okay. Yeah. We have some company keeping watch on us. Keep your purses close. I think they might be looking for something more. But um, do keep an eye out. Would you mind if I took a closer look? Uh, it might not be safe. For them. <laughs> oh, for you. <laughs> I, I would say so 10, 11, it's like 12, 30 in the yes. afternoon. Um, and we make it to the temple? You make it to the temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to the temple. And... Walking in, what kind of temple is it? So... You see, as you walk up, you see this man sitting there, and he has, he looks like a beggar, and he's got tattered clothing, no shoes, dirty, his hair is shaved, uh, very close, um, and he's just singing a song in his head right what, outside. What does the temple look like? The it temple looks like just another building. It's dirty, it's small. Much like the shopkeepers, it's very long, yeah. um, but familiar. there's rooms, so you only see like a, a little bit in. And does it give any kind of hint of what kind of god? This Uptau is? is the the god who left Cholt. Oh. Can I run up to this guy and uh, and run up to him and take a big smell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you run up, you take a big smell. Does he smell nice? Have you ever smelled a hobo, Kurt? Have you smelled a hobo before? I'm looking for the dirty man that smells nice. He stinks. Okay. Not this guy smells super bad. <laughs> um, so he's out um, there. There's minimal, distinguish minimal distinguishable marks, but a couple different emblems that are like drawn on, almost like, crappy paint, you know. Um, but you walk in, okay. and there's people bustling about. There's candles lighting the way. Um, there's few people in there. Uh, I'm going to walk up to someone who looks like they're in some sort of robe or vestment. All of the robes look like just tattered. Okay. They all very much look similar. Um, then uh, the nearest one to the 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 door and say, pardon me, are you one of the priests here? Yes, yes I am. I'm looking for uh, a man by the name of uh, Kumpaulot. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. He's over here in, in the back room and he goes to escort you and he, he, please, please go ahead. 
and you go, to go, you follow. He turns to Vartek. He goes, you look very familiar. You might have heard him singing. You know me. I know you. you know me. We met. Uh, roll history check. Eleven. That's good enough. Do you remember in Stream of Annihilation? Mm -hmm. uh, you had a friend mm -hmm. who was a gladiator, I believe. Who I said was a friend. Mm -hmm. You knew him as the Marker. The Marker. Mm -hmm. And he, this guy looks a lot like him, but much smaller. And tattered clothing, and his head shaved, and he almost looks like a ghost of this person. But he looks at you and goes, I I think I knew you once. Are you... I recollect the time. Vartak. Vartak is correct. Yes, Vartak. I remember you, but you... Yeah, we were, we used to, we used to spar together. We used to spar. We were, we were very good. And... I don't... Have a pint together. I don't But do you were much, things. much... A, more Time, style. time. It's been like five years for you. I apologize. You were very young, and he was he was much younger. You guys, I did I tell you how old you are? I think you're like in twenty four or something like that. Yes. I thought he was like eighteen. No, he's a little bit older. Okay. Because he's been traveling with you for a couple of years, and he left, and he did a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, say five years. It's been five years since you've seen him. Yes. You guys were in high school together, or not? You were high school age together. Um, but now he's in front of you, a man, a very compo like more composed than you'd ever seen him. I have never met anyone who could wield an axe. Oh, it was a long could. time ago. It was but a very I long time ago. I still never come across anyone who could flail a pig. I oh we don't we don't speak of those things anymore. I I have taken a new leaf in life and new marker. you know when you travel the world you find that not everything not everything is about winning and through following this the leaders of this temple I have found that a more quieter way of life is better you know the the way that you interact with people and just hurting people wasn't, isn't, it just isn't for me I anymore. honor and respect. Yes, I'm, I would like to introduce myself to you. My name is actually Simolo. Simon. It's very nice to meet you again. It's uh, good to see you again. I Simon. hope whatever has led you here leads you to much success in your life. I plan to have many successes and many adventures ahead of me. And I am very, I hope that you find many blessings here in this quiet place of yours. It is a very good place. Be well. So he leads you through to the temple and you see this man, um, also head shaved, tattered clothes, and he is, uh, he's got these two little tabaxi with him. And like they're kids? Hmm? like kids, like teenagers. Okay. Yeah. And so they're like, it's just slightly smaller. Their paperwork and their like things, they got some maps and they're just doing stuff. Hmm. Excuse me. Um, would you become Paulot? Yes. Yes, I am. Michaela said that we should come and speak to you. Oh, Michaela, yes. I, I sell many things to her. She's a wonderful, wonderful creature, yes. Um, she said that you might be for hire as a guide for uh, exploration. Oh, I, I am in the middle of something. Um, what is, maybe I could help you. Maybe... Um, is, could we speak privately? Is it safe? Yes, yes. And he takes you to the corner. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> We're in search of um, a legendary treasure that you may know something about. Oh, I know many things the about many treasures. Pulse of Cholt? <gasps> I mean, I, 
I know where you can go to, I mean, I've seen it. You have? I, no, I haven't seen it, but I've, I've seen uh, pictures oh. of it. And um, hmm. yes, there's, there's a temple. It's very far, though. Yes? Yes. So you'll probably need a guide. Yes. Yes, and I'm busy. So, um, so you're looking to hire a guide. I am. Oh, fantastic. Well, I happen to have guides. Um, and, but I need them back. Of course. Yes. I would like to introduce you. And he turns to the little um, tabaxi and mm -hmm. he says, um, I would like to introduce you all to River Mist and Flask of Wine. <laughs> and they, they perk up. And Hello. they're like, how may I help you? Hello. And he turns to them and says, uh, these are my new friends. Uh, they are also friends of Michaela. And they go, we like Michaela. She's very kind to us. I she am Captain Dorigas. <gasps> captain Dorigas. And which I've one never, are you? Have you met a captain? <laughs> I haven't met a captain. Oh, he's very tall. Which one are you? Um, you, you are River Mist? Uh, I can't remember if I see Or are you Flask of Wine? Um, one's a boy, one's a girl. And momentarily, I will be able to tell you which is which. I'm going to guess Flask of Wine's the boy and River Mist is the girl. 50-50. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will, we will have that <laughs> ready at the next um, episode. But and one, so River says, I'm, wait, you say, well, who's a boy? Is that what you said? No, I was just, uh, whoever oh. was talking, I was like, are you are River Mist? I am River Mist. Um, these are my associates. This is Amina, she is my first mate. Nice to meet you. This is Vartak, my bosun. And of course, bosun. this Kal Kalithi, bosun. who is... A lieutenant on my ship. Lieutenant. We are looking for guides to lead us into the jungle to search for treasures like your friend does. They both look at him at the same time. They're like, <laughs> and he says, yes, go, go. They While he's prepping for his next adventure, would you be willing to come on ours? We love adventures and you're very important looking. I think, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, if, you know, there's, um, hmm. if you pay us, that'd be really nice. That would be nice. They don't really pay us. <laughs> Sometimes they feed us. I would really like it. I would also really like it if you could feed us and pay us. Hmm. Please. How much pay do you want? How about, um... I don't, what do we ask for? I don't know. We don't really, we don't really have money. A lot. We would like a lot of money, please. A lot of, you know yes. what's a lot of money for what is, someone who doesn't have money? Huh. I would say, how about one gold per day? Isn't that a lot? That's a lot. Per each of us? Mm. <laughs> All right. <sighs> and then go. <laughs> okay. All right. Where do you want to go? Oh. You, oh, okay. And he says where they want to go. Oh, 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 that is very far. Okay, so. Could you show me on your map where that temple is from here? Oh, uh, we have to go and, and, and get a map. It's a different one. You can't take All these. Right. Um, but we will find a map. And we will. This I just is want to fun. make sure of that from here is where we think we should be going. Oh, yes. We have a heading we would like to go. Yes, we will. We can, uh, depending on the weather and depending on the. We will figure out uh, a perfect path, and we will ask, um, we will talk to Kumpalut and see what he recommends and is the best way. And we'll need provisions, and yeah, we'll have, need provisions and food. We need food, please. We, we need food. We will, we will stock up. Um, I think we should probably get some beasts of burden to carry this for us. Are there? Would you be able to help us find some uh, of those large lizards to carry this? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Those are very, those are very good. We will, we will find. Um, but uh, if it is where near where we think, uh, they, it's very far. And Should we get mounts of some sort? Um, we will have to get back to you on that. Oh. I don't think we'll have to. There are some places that are a bit more. Oh, but we couldn't ride. Dangerous. Can't ride. Cross some but, rivers or climb some Oh, mountains. there's many things out in the jungle. It's very oh. dangerous. Do I you hear, know about the jungle here? I hear bits and pieces, but tell us. It's like. It's like a monster. It's, yes. it's big and it, 
it, it's its own, there's like, the river is very dangerous and the rains are even more dangerous. Yes. Yes. Luckily we have someone who's good with rains. Oh, I don't know what that means, but very exciting. Okay. Yes, you yeah. would like it. Oh, neat. So, um, then we need sleep. Can we sleep somewhere? Can yes. we maybe sleep somewhere? Can we sleep somewhere that's not here? Because that would be very nice. Um, Please. Perhaps we could get in a room. We, we, okay. will, we will do what we can. Have you ever slept on a ship? I don't know. It's by water. Um, do you not like water? Well, I mean, we, we'll try anything. You would like it. We will sleep in hammocks on the deck. You just swing and you go to sleep. It's very gentle and swaying. And that sounds storm. very we'll nice. That Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. yes, we'll be very good. We won't steal anything. And then we'll tell I would you. hope not if we're paying you. That's yes. That, yeah. He is paying you a day rate. But if you get us where we need to go, get our item and get us all back safe, there is a bonus in it for you from me. <laughs> okay. It's a deal. But we must get back here safe, all of us, with our item. Okay. okay. I mean... Including you. Oh, thanks. Um, it's very dangerous, though. I can't promise everything is going to be... We understand. Okay. Because there are monsters out there. There are? There's lots of monsters. If we get eaten by a monster. People, sometimes people don't come back. We love danger. We love danger. We well, welcome danger. We try to avoid it whenever possible. But we are fine <gasps> with danger. We can protect you. Okay. Then. Yes. Then yes. We will yes. go. Yes, we will Welcome go. To our party. Fantastic. Um, can we go now? If Please? you wish, we can go get supplies. You can help us. Oh my, they're going to let us go it's about, shopping it's with It's about them. time for mid meal. Mm. Would you like to get some mid meal? <laughs> There's more than one meal? There is. <laughs> There's more than one kind of food, too. I. Um, Thank you so much for your generosity. This is very, this is very good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can we carry anything for you? Is there, is there anything else we can do? Not at the moment, but I'm sure you will be most helpful. Um, they curl up and they give the um, uh, Kumpalut a big hug. They each wrap their arm around him and just thank you, thank you. We'll be right back. We won't leave for too long. Thank you, thank you. And he pats them on the head and he walks up to you and goes, uh, th this is a list of things that they kind of need and oh. how to take care of them a little bit because right. they're a very they're a, a adorable bunch, but they are very you know they have their quirks. Mm -hmm. um, but please bring them back. I, we I will, I'm quite fond of them. We will do our best. Thank you. They said it was dangerous, but we will do our best. Thank you. Um, before we leave, could you tell us anything about the gem itself? You said you know quite a bit, and I've heard. Tales and rumors, but I think you would probably know more than most. Well, I wouldn't want to take any adventure away from you because this place that you're going to is is a treasure. I understand but, the temple. But it's a very powerful and with power can come a lot of good and other things, and with power, many there are many people who would really like this power. Mm. So, which is why I would prefer the discretion on the fact that we're going. Absolutely. Any information we find along the way, I'm more than willing to share with you. Thank you. Um, I assume I will not be seeing you for a very long time. It seems not for a short while, yes. The, this is a very large island. And, yes. Um, I'm assuming weeks? It depends on the weather. Mm. So he takes out a pen and he writes down places for you to go to gather supplies, uh, people to talk to, and he folds it up and um, the, the two come back and they have bedrolls and, and they're like, little tiny satchel backpack it's like a little thing but that's like that's all of their items that they've ever owned and you can tell and they're happy and they're excited to go with you and they pull on your clothes and are like yes let's we're ready let's go all right welcome to our crew 
Come. Where would you like to go next? Uh, we're going to head to the, um, let's see, let's go to the, the Grand Souk for supplies. Awesome. So you go to the Grand Souk and we... It's getting late, isn't it? And we, hold on, I got you. Okay. <laughs> just, just, just guessing. So you go to the Grand Souk and you... The marketplace outside is very fun and little kiosks everywhere and people are bussing around. But when you walk into the souk, you see just, there's the way the glass of the windows from above the souk just cascade light inside, the lamps inside, um, outside of the businesses inside the souk are just ornate and uh, some of them cast shadows on the walls of different shapes and you've never seen anything like this. The smell of incense permeates the air and the fabric is precious. This is fabric you wouldn't want to just leave out sitting out in the sun or you know, around a humid area and it's nice inside. It's cooler and everybody's pleasant. It's actually quiet. You hear not like dead quiet but that respectful quiet where there's people everywhere but they are they are there for a reason and they uh, take care that they're not bumping into each other and everything looks very very expensive uh, but beautiful and as, it's the experience that people are in here for as we're walking through I want to uh, see if I can listen in on any of the deals going on and see what kind of haggling process they use here whether it's this, the typical Extreme e okay. exaggerations, whether it's more just price on the barrel head. Roll. Uh, I just roll a in, just investigation because uh, you're you're actively looking for a thing. Nineteen. Of course, you know I don't even know why I ask you to roll. <laughs> you always roll high, so not always. You listen, and you start getting a lay of the land. What do you do? Um, I'm just following behind him, trying to make sure he's not getting into trouble or distracted by women. Bartek, what are you doing? I'm just looking around at the different, the different vendors, what they sell, what they offer. I'm very intrigued by some of these items. I almost want to get some myself. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to purchase some of these things here, or maybe even try to part them. Kalithe. I am standing and playing with this beautiful fabric you described, waiting for my captain to tell me what we're going to do. And that's where we're going to leave off for today. You guys are going to go shopping next time. I would like you to make a list of the things that you are looking for that you'd like to gather. So that's your homework for this week. Okay. And I want to thank you guys out in twitch.tv slash DD land. Thank you for watching. I am Satine Phoenix. Uh, we have Misty. We have Kyle. We have Kurt. We have Kate, who's standing in for Kim. I'd like to give a great big thank you to Dungeons and Dragons. You guys know that you're my favorite, most the, the loves of my life, and this is just a dream come true. Thank you, Black Magic, for giving us these super sexy cameras. Awesome. Flow Light for this awesome lighting. Uh, Sirenscape for being just lovely to our ears. A huge thank you to Rudy Rutenberg uh, mm -hmm. back here. Um, a big thank you to Neil for producing and Avril for haping, helping out. And an amazing big thank you to Daryl who built the ship and most of our sets for this uh, season of Fury's Reach. Uh, right before we go, Kurt, what's the name of your book? What's the name of my book? What was the name of your book um, uh, as you landed in Cholt? Freedom for adventure. Freedom for adventure. I am writing my book as we travel across the lands and seek new experiences and my book is ever changing. Today it gave me so much new content and so much new poetry. I'm so very excited. Oh, wait until we go back to the Temple of Soon. <laughs> <laughs> and that is our episode for today. The freedom of adventure. Thank you, and we will see you tomorrow here on twitch.tv slash dnd for Rudy Rutenberg dungeon mastering his crew of adventurers in Chult at this very same moment. Thank you, and all have a wonderful evening. Yay.
Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching me, Sir Carl. Freedom of Adventure. Freedom of Adventure. <laughs> Thank you, Satine. Thanks, Satine.